Engage. Welcome back to Coffee Gaming Experience, where we are engaging with the enemies in Fire Emblem. In Water Symbol, <laughs> Water Crest Divorce. That's the that's gonna be the name of my game, <laughs> Water Crest, uh, Water Symbol. Oh Jesus, that's right. I have to <laughs> I have to figure out what to do here. Oh boy. All right, all right, all right, all right. So we have to do something here. We have to probably kill Kagetsu. Or Kaget Kilsu, whatever comes first, really. Uh, we got chat on the screen. Okay, cool. Let's move all these boys up. Some of these are not boys either. Actually, what I would like to do is remove, reduce their armor population early while aggroing Kagetsu. Because I think that's the thing that's going to be a big issue is when I get hit by this, then these push me. So I'm gonna try to get rid of one side. And maybe, maybe Louie can stay down here just to waste the thieves' turn to like distract them. Operation waste their turn. Your steward's ready. <laughs> Everything's an operation. Uh, so Operation Waste okay. Their Turn will be underway pretty soon. Uh, clan can catch a heal. Or clan, what the hell? This kid. <laughs> Whoever this dude is, Go Chain Guarder 2. We have Chain Guarder 1 and Chain Guarder 2. Whatever Chain Guarder 2's actual name is. We'll give Louis anti-poisons. Anti-poison. There you go, buddy. He's gonna aggro the big bad and just try to do stuff. Somehow, to me, at least, Unicorn Overlord team management feels like more like a chore than engage. Um, I think it's because you're managing entire squads, so you have to do more work. I was like, in the first stream, I guess I'm sort of a big deal. <laughs> That's right. Say the word. Kind of a big deal around here. Did Jade died? Yes, Jade died. She's yes. dead. <laughs> She barely died because I think Anna or someone missed a chain attack. <laughs> really, I misplayed fundamentally, but Anna missed a chain attack, so it's Anna's fault. That's the way we do things here. Blame everyone but yourself. <laughs> no, I actually don't believe in that. UO menu management, false annoyer. Yeah, the menu management in UO is kind of insane. I think most of the gameplay is done through menus, which kind of takes you out of the experience. All right, he's going to go back. He's going to be wasting the thieves' turns to stall them out. And then he's going to lead them on a wild goose chase. Or a wild Louie chase, if you will. And then we have this over here. She's going to be positioned to start fighting these armors. We're going to have chain guards down there. Same thing with Citrine. We're going to get Sit Rep Pro from Call of Duty Modern Warfare 1. <laughs> Did anyone else use that? It was actually kind of useful. You could detect enemy explosives like claymores and also hear footsteps. It was kind of good, actually. A lot of people didn't use it. I found it to be one of the better perks. Jade surrounded by armors. Her instinct is to meditate, which gives Rose. It's kind of her fault, actually. She should have increased her defense through her other ability, Shout. Uh, let's see, we want chain guards. Yeah, and then who do we want to fight to get to? We want the biggest damage possible. Fourteen on Great Lance. She would have to tank a hit. Now he has evasion. The biggest offender in UO is the RNG shuffling so much. I hate needing ten damage to kill. Use an empower drink and now I die. Yeah, I know. It's so it's so like nonsensical. The more you play the game and the more you understand Overlord, the more it's just like, why is this happening? <laughs> like it's not even, <clears throat> it's not even clear why. And it's not even like a good reason either. Like if it was like a logic puzzle like chess or something where like X leads to Y leads to Z, like some kind of combination of moves or something, it would at least be like coherent. But in, <laughs> in its current form, you just move up, like sometimes you'll move one guy over a square in your team management and all of a sudden you one round the entire enemy team and take zero damage and it's just completely absurd it's it has some interesting ideas but the implementation is not <laughs> is not like coherent 
it's kind of just all over the place and things just kind of happen you're just expected to deal with it like in this game the worst thing that really happens is random crits and low percent hits which is just calculated risk that you understand can happen so it's not like it's unfair or weird or completely changes how you're playing the game how's it going moik mike Hello! i'm sorry there we go i'll give you a woohoo <laughs> how's it going mike <laughs> <laughs> just a nest scream for no reason now let's look at i think we actually want her on uh, i need the right tile uh, i need the right tile i want to have her fight both of these chain guard kagetsu so this tile i want to have i want to have some things i want to have Chain assist. All right, we'll just do this. We're gonna go for a big play here. I was looking to chain guard. I guess I could do this. Oh no, Kagetsu can hit me there. <laughs> Don't have early obstruct stuff. Uh, what was I talking about? Uh, it's a fun game with its flaws. Hope the next game is some passion or the same passion, a little bit more play test. Uh, we were talking about Unicorn Overlord. How like how uh, squad management is kind of crazy. You can like rearrange units and all of a sudden your units kill and overlord and where jade went yeah can't believe icg got divorced and became homeless anyways fram ah! <laughs> anyways <laughs> yeah right anyways fram let's see if this strategy works advanced wars was better you always miss <laughs> that'll get some people angry Oh, he missed a 64. Damn. Okay, let's see if we don't get crit here. Okay. Alright, nice. We put 16 on him. That's huge. I can't enemy phase the other things, because then Kagetsu will just go to those. Ooh, what the hell? <laughs> That's not... Oh, they're pushing the... <laughs> they're pushing the squishies of the forest. I didn't expect him to push them. That's kind of... Sus. However... It is kind of sauce. Wait, let me do this. Let's be out of range of her. There we go. Very sauce. Actually, the Kagetsu kind of delivered himself, which I am all about. So let's let's resolve the Kagetsu problem first. And then we got archers, right? We have warriors. A more experienced warrior one. All right, let's do Iron Bow. Advanced Wars was all right. I do think Advanced Wars suffers. It's it's funny because it's almost like Overlord is too stylized, different, and experimental, and Advanced Wars is too generic and puzzle-like. <laughs> There's there has to be like some kind of happy medium. Fire Emblem's definitely some kind of like medium between those two where it still has a lot of the RPG stuff that you know and love. You owe so many characters, which in theory is good, but leaves me with decision paralysis. Good in theory, but not in practice. There are a lot of units in that game. And a lot of them are similar too. Who do we, who do we feed Kigetsu to? He's an advanced class, which I think he means he's level 15, isn't it? Or like 15 plus whatever. Uh, we can feed Algorist. Or Lear. No, Lear needs to get Master Sealed. Let's feed Alachrist. The Archer Bros. Anna and Alchrist, the Archer Bros. Hell yeah, dude. Level up. What are talking about? I'm sorry. You better be sorry. Okay. Now, I want to say Chloe can tank this thing. Or tank the uh, attackers. We can't kill that though, can we? No. A lot of dudes attacking as well. Three hit there, huh? Two hit there. <laughs> this plan is not working out as I had hoped. I think she can poke from here. Eh. She gets one rounded though. Or if I, tra if I trade her, she doesn't. 
Let's go to here. Yeah, let's do this. We'll trade her. She'll put chip damage on. Knives being useful for once, yeah. Oh wait, what is this? 18 speed thief that probably one runs her. <laughs> Let's see. Does it? 19 damage, really. Okay. An interesting amount. She does die. I do have chain attack. Or uh There we go. Chain guarded. And then this guy. She can't double him. She's one speed. <laughs> One speed off. We can tank it. I would, I'd prefer to kill it though. I think we have passive here. And you are sometimes it takes so much time to equip everyone with items you want. Yeah, I think that's the big thing that I don't like about it. You spend a lot of time just like changing items out. And it ends up becoming just a lot of just a lot of like menu stuff that doesn't feel very meaningful now what do these do to me i don't like that this one actually has damage the stiletto let's try to draw these away these two if he dies he dies but what are you gonna do you know i'll tell you what i'm gonna do i'm gonna open up the window some fresh air in here hell yeah Oh, good, he hit. And he got crit. Savage. <laughs> no, I knew you'd hit Anna or Alchris. I mean, they always like to attack. Ooh. She barely survived. I wish Yuo didn't have equipment. Ooh. At least we split them. Oh, look at that mage aggro. That's weird. <laughs> the L surge is all the way over there. All right, let's try to... We don't want to deal with them in the evasion tiles. I'm going to go way over here. He still hasn't hit Kigetsu. After Drakenhold, I don't feel like I'm playing a game. <laughs> yeah, it's unfortunate. It's basically like you just... It's the you win simulator. <laughs> Did you do anything? Guess what? You won. <laughs> it just becomes crazy. I think that's its real issue. You put you a melee card. All right, what's in the cards for this man? Let's are we. All right, mages should attack armors. Alchrists, all Christ, and attack this. Uh, do we have a tank? No, not really. Let's send Yunaka in a tree, just to be a tile. She'll be a tree, <laughs> a tree, Naka. Uh, if only I had Armor Slayer. <laughs> I didn't get the early Armor Slayer, because I'm really good at the game, by the way. Uh, let's see, Anna... I'm pretty tough, you know. Anna, Hand Axe. Yeah, Hand Axe this. Feels very autoplay. Oh, 2% crit! Hell yeah. Yeah, it is, it is a game that requires... Oh, no way she proc twice. No way she proc already. Oh yeah, let me get the gold counter back up. She's already at 1k. Some guy was like so skeptical that she can make you money in this Woo game and was making all these Woo like weird arguments and doing like theoretical math to refute things I've observed in my runs where it's like, well, it actually happened. So I don't know <laughs> the practice versus the theory. <laughs> Sometimes the practice is different. Okay, Citrine will kill. Hi, a Papaya has gone Expector Void. So the split push or the split pull did not work. Early game definitely had me thinking a lot harder. I'm still in Beastlands an expert. I just send in unit kill. If not, send different unit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Uh, oh, you can kill this. Oh, it's the wind guy. All right. What are the hit rates? That one's terrible. What's, is that the flame lance? All right, the Flame Lance we don't have to kill. I've been having thoughts about doing a rerun of the full DLC. Does it change the feel a lot? For this game, yes. It completely changes the game. It's basically a different game. Right, what's the damage? 
What's the hit rate? 39 avoid. Okay, so 70 hit rate, 23 damage, 8 defense. Okay. I think she would die. Can I heal her? Can I kill him and then heal her? Fram? Then how do we kill this? Something like this, maybe? Put some chip on it. We have damage boost. Damage boost. Who can kill? What can you do? You have to get this out of the way. Uh, what about surging this with a boost? That almost kills. Uh, no more backups. Fram can't kill that. Lear can't kill that. This guy's just gonna chill out with Savage Blow. Hmm. <laughs> Damn. Pretty tight. Alir's out of range, too. Alright, what do we do here? I wish I had Obstruct. This, the two mages over here actually backfired. They were, they got focused down by this, and then this split, this uh, thief, the thief pushed up north. For no reason. <laughs> he just did it. Probably generic uh, movement. This plus Fram kills the thief. I guess we could try that. In a good way or bad way? Oh, DLC in this game makes it super easy. Like, unavoidably. It, it makes it so easy, it's like... You don't even need to think. <laughs> How's it going, Cyril? Oh, I missed an 80? Damn. That's not what we wanted. Oh, no. Missed an 80. We're not allowed to do that. Doesn't have a heal. He should trade for a heal. Uh, it's a flame lance damage. Does it have like zero damage? It has six on me. John can't heal me. <laughs> of course. I guess we're attacking. John can heal from here. Hit it with fire. It counterattacks for damage on Saline. Come on, Slaylene. Where's your res, dude? <laughs> this is an armor <laughs> with a flame lance. It shouldn't be hurting you at all. UO did early game flyer dirty. <laughs> it's true. Alright, now we have to hit the 80s. She has to tank a lot in this position. Yeah, I don't know about that. We'll avoid 10. Maybe avoid 10 matters. I see you forgot to get it. I didn't push fast enough. Are we watching Ice Coffee Game? Oh no, Citrine! I actually don't care. <laughs> actually, I kind of do because of the armors. I wasn't planning on running her. Oh. He's getting demolished right now. Okay, we should get some chip damage. Don't fear for me. Hmm. All right, that's good damage. I'll apologize later. Oh yeah, strength plus three. That's right. It's actually really strong early on. <laughs> the armor problem. He's slowly dying to the <laughs> Survive, Louis. You can do this. Savage blow thief this early. Yeah. Ben would have survived because he's a special boy. Oh my god, Alchrist. Yeah, Alchrist is being used. Unironically, too. Alchrist is actually good in this run. Some refuse to believe that, but it's true. Uh, I guess we'll attack. We'll kill a sword guy. Tomes feel very underwhelming in the basic game. It's magic. It should feel, you know, magical. In this game? 
Oh, like they don't do much aside from just damage, or is that what you're saying? All right, slay lean. Time to slay. <laughs> Ooh, Leo Harris sent the slay lean thing when I was like, Ooh, slay lean. <laughs> Time to slay. <laughs> slay lean. <laughs> Saline is like citrine with less damage and more bulk. And swords for some reason. But she can use love and sword. Should I run slay lean? I guess I will if someone super chats it. Instead of operations uh, sack the teacup. <laughs> teacup sacrifice. Slay lean. So I don't need to donate to make you use him? <laughs> uh, currently, no. <laughs> there have been donations. Someone donated for Fogato. Uh, Wing of Shoe did. Uh, isn't having a mage knight better than not having one? Is Jean exempt from reclassing rules since he's a villager archetype? You got it. Uh, no, he's not. Let's move some dudes down. Hopefully Louis doesn't die. I mean, he does have Zelkov. If he would have just hit Zelkov... Okay, he's finally starting to hit him. If he just would have been hitting him this whole time, he would have been fine. He would have killed him already. He missed like two times in a row, though. Oh no, the savage blow. Tomes feel less unique than normal weapons, just deals damage, at least staves are somewhat interesting. I mean, those are utility weapons, though. So those are always going to be a little different. Are you talking about the Clan Mage Knight? Uh, Clan Mage Knight in this run has, like, no damage. At level 40, he has 19 magic, which is quite tragic. We would say the magic is tragic, because it is. And 13 might plus 19 is 32 attack. <laughs> and even these armors have 4 res. Like, that, things have like 10 to 20 res. So he would be dealing, I don't know, negligible damage. It's unfortunate, but... Okay, now we need Slaylene to pop off here. We'll heal Jean so we can chain guard something, maybe. At the very least, we need to slay. Oh, it's not slaying. <laughs> It's not slaying, Slaylene. We need to see the damage. Alright. Here's the anage. A slight setback. Now there is... Oh wait, these are all melee range. <laughs> so if we're gonna do this... He's actually quite tanky too. De 11 defense. It's kind of impressive. She can probably tank if she catches heal. He can longbow this for some chip, killing it. <laughs> this game is so funny, dude. All right, we're gonna do this. Chain Gad. One, two, three, four. Okay, we're gonna move her back. I'm assuming Slaylene can slay. I'm fairly certain she can slay. Let's be careful. Moving a closer. Iron Great Schlantz. Gentle Flower. That has no damage. You know what, though? Well, let's try it. Let's see what they do. They'll attack you, Naka. Why not? Oh, he got crit. Oh, no. Oh, no. He got crit. Okay, Chain Guard. Get behind me. You love to see it. His passive's actually quite good, too. No! Oh, if he would have hit, he would have survived, dude. Damn it, Louie. How dare you not survive in that situation? Alright, get some progress. There we go. We lost both the starter tanks. <laughs> and he, if he would have hit, man, he would have been fine. He would have survived. She's kind of just wasting this thing's turn. Which I am fine with. You want hand axe? Alright, cool. We'll get some kills. Let's go for some crits. 
Did you check Jade Drip earlier? Uh, <laughs> no, what is that? The thief thing? I'm listening. Oh, he needs to... Oh dear. <laughs> we need to... Oh yeah, Anna can tank here, probably. Kind of. <laughs> Hello, coffee people. She might as well be on L Surge. Let's go to L Rosaria. All flowers eventually wilt. We're all about Slaylene today. All right, so this guy's L Surge, right? Hmm. Is there anywhere useful she can go? Here, heal Alcris. <laughs> Slay lead. She can't die, that's not ideal. Here you go. Go. All right, and I get some chip damage. We should be okay here. <laughs> she leveled up for that. <laughs> All right, I'll take it. We just have to tank one hit. Slay lean tanks. Oh no! Oh wait! Like, oh, he's he Sudoku'd. How is the Jade on the outfit tier list? How is she? She would probably be kind of high for certain classes. You could argue she slays. Maybe even as much as Slay lean. I grew weary. These things are just hard to kill in this run. Alright, let's go for this. Oh, I think I could have bought an Armor Slayer, now that I think about it. I think they sell one. <laughs> this could have been much easier. Than it ended up being. I would say kill that. Oh, he can kill the other thing. He's got pretty good damage. Oh, he's a crit. He, wait, he's sitting on a crit? I might pulse that. I'm sitting on a crit. I should go for a big target. L Surge. That's huge. Ah, oh, come on, Anna. You can't double this guy. Oh, wait, she's a hammer. She's like a straight-up hammer. Hammer. Now, what? Let's say Alir goes, like, here. Uh, we have a male and a female next to each other. She should be able to kill this with true damage. Yeah. Then Anna can wrap around hammer. Sorry. <laughs> Hammer time. It's everyone's favorite weapon. I think most people forget this is a thing. Because <laughs> it's just so bad. And there's never a real reason to use it. Who can he heal? Can't really heal anyone right now. Alright, just go get your health reset, man. It's fine. At least you knock a split off an enemy. This is wasting his turns. That's useful. Okay, we have a kill to feed someone. Uh, Alchris is already level 3. Who can feed Anna? <laughs> is Jade slayed? Yes. Oh, she missed, though? Should I pulse that? Yeah, I might as well. <laughs> is Jade slayed? She is, in fact, slayed. Let's get some damage on this bad boy. Start poisoning him. Poison the well. Is that what they say? To do? <laughs> to do? To poison the well. Uh, okay. Get this hit. Why oh, are you B support with Fram already? Damn. It's kind of good. 
You got it. You got it. Hundred hit. Hell yeah, dude. That's a little bit of min maxing was a long way. We're pretty tough, you know. I'm pretty tough, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we got both passives plus poison. Minimum damage gaming. He almost levels too. Oh, you know, we also have, we have the Slay Lean. <laughs> the two damage. Alchrist. Hell yeah, dude. Poison. Poison matters. Chloe passive useful. Oh, it's always useful. But it's more useful than you realize. My will is firm. Especially when your will is firm. Oh, he's gonna hit Fram, isn't he? She still does two damage. She dodged. <laughs> she dodged it. Nice. Who else? So Jean easily levels up here. Alacrist is doing his best. He is good. He he, he was one shotting, dude. So he's already big value. His passive is very good. He has like one of the actually most used, <laughs> most used passives. Best used, most best used. Frame dodge tank, all right, let's put some chip. I mean, he's shooting a thing with a blong, a, like a blong bow, you know, a blong blow. That's oh, pretty impressive. He's able to get some damage on it. He, he actually did one shot the mages though, with uh, his passive triggered. So I'm pretty, pretty proud of him. Uh, let's feed Anna. She could last hit here, so. Oh, no, she missed. I need to get Fram next to her. Hold on. The hammer is very inaccurate, so. Wait, where's... Oh, I lose down there. Okay. There we go. 94 hit. Slay Lear. Slay Fred. Slay Lean. Slay Christ. Slay Amons. Long Blow. <laughs> it's the Blong Blow. <laughs> That's what it's called, dude. It's in the game. That's what they say, right? It's in the game. Hate the game, not the player. Do not try to slay if you do not know how. Or slay lean will be upset. Now the steel art... Is huge value, so I'm probably gonna go for a pick on that. Uh, now, if I aggro, they chain guard Ivy. So that's not what we want, really. Hmm. Is there a square? Oh, I can attack this from here with a longbow. Does he double though? No, single shot. All right, we'll figure it out. We'll probably just get the kill on Ivy. I'll have you knock an enemy phase her, I wanna say, or someone with huge damage. Or does, um, can Chloe double? She's 14 speed, damn. So no one doubles her. Yeah, we'll do this. Let's get everyone in there. We'll start getting poison on her. Who is next? Slavi, Sl Slay Gato, Slay Mara. I think Slay Mara is pretty good. All right, next turn. It's that mysterious merchant, Yunaka. <laughs> My father's order. All right, six damage plus poison. Not bad. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> oh dear. Can anyone one round that? Who can double that thing? We need 15, so I think only Chloe can. We want the items. Here we go. Yeah, we want the Steel Lance. <laughs> It'd be funny if there was a mod that just put the word Slay in everyone's name. That would be a good mod. 
the Slaylene mod. More speed. Cool. Got a Steel Hand Art. Which might become useful in five seconds. Alright, now... <laughs> Jean value. <laughs> Just punch them. Go for the chip damage. Alright, poison stack too, and this should help a lot. Plus tree damage. She survives it. Alright, so she's plus three damage a hit. We can get Anna in range. So Anna, yeah, I guess Anna goes for a poke, like here, just in case I need that tile. Hand axe doesn't work, well, iron bow's fine. All right, we have chain. You should uh, you should use Alchemist for the rest of the game, trust me. I actually might have to. All right, Fram can take off a health bar. And then we have three, I think we're fine with three attacks. <laughs> Fram beats Ivy to death. Hell yeah, dude. Fortunately, I don't double her, though. Okay, and then... Clear. Iron Blade damage of 12. Right, I think we Iron Blade. And then probably Longbow. Ice damage. like this. Yeah, I think we have it. Can he hit a nine? He can hit a nine. Yeah, he can hit a nine. Oh yeah, we're fine. No, and I missed. Slay piss. Slay papaya. Slay pie. <laughs> uh, do we have any supports? He has to hit this 82. Hit! Yes, the Archer Bros. Slay pissed. All right, 26 turns, Alchrist MVP. He actually did put in work. Slay maxing. Hey, when are you guys gonna start slay maxing? So I wanna know. <laughs> slay net. You've won. Please, no. No. Please, kill me. No, I can't. I'm too cool. All right, it's time to the pat. And then we have to definitely do our supports because I always forget to do that. We're a constant state of forgetting supports. Deeper we venture into Illusia. Is this the way to Destinia? I don't know. In this snow, it's... <sighs> Hold on. I see someone up ahead. This <laughs> is Vale. Is that you? <laughs> a Wooga Lear. Vale. You know her? She's a friend. Vail. She is a friend. How did you get here? I... I don't know. You don't know how you crossed the border into another country? Well, how about you? You look worried. Is something the matter? We're trying to reach Destinia Cathedral, but we got lost in the snow. If it's the cathedral you're looking for, head that way. You know where... Uh-huh. You're close. I appreciate- I owed you for patching me up the other- Huh. Were you wearing that ring? Yes. I didn't notice it the other- <laughs> It's the pretty! Veil? Emblem ring. <laughs> Veil. <laughs> oh, Emblem <sorry>. ring. <laughs> this game's so funny, dude. Where are you going? She's got raccoon She's hair. Going. She'll be fine, dude. Please kill me, I'm just gonna get crit. 
Alakris MVP because he's the best dude in the game. Woohoo! He actually might be really good in this run. There's a lot of evidence that supports that. I could have bought an armor slayer. <laughs> Whoops. Alright, what else could I get? I don't think we need Rider's Banes. Let's get a Steel Bow for Anna. Yeah. Oh, and a Longbow, dude. Hell yes. What do we want to get rid of? What's this for now? Steel Bow upgrades iron. Oh, I can't because it's equipped. Um... The hammer is going to be useful. We're probably going to need it. So I would say we drop Iron Axe. She should be mostly hand axing. I mean, she can use Steel Bow to accurately hit something, so why would I even use the Iron Axe? And then for you... Oh, you're good. For you, that's fine. All right, we do need staffs, though. Stabs. Let's go to the item shop, eh? And then Slaylene can get the thunder, because our other mage mysteriously died. It was weird. <laughs> it was very strange. She seemingly gave up in the middle of battle. Chloe mend is fine. Fram should have a mend. Get rid of a Vuln 1. Cool. We probably... Oh yeah, I could have had Obstruct too. <laughs> Damn, dude. That Obstruct. Rewarp is huge here. You can use this to gimmick the map. I actually might do that. It's degen as hell, but <sighs> sorry. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> I mean, it's technically exploiting the game in a way. Get rid of that. Let's buy some tonics now. Now that we have infinite access to tonics. So three li limit of three tonics per unit per battle. So you can't do like five, you know, obviously four or more. For balance purposes. And also to allow me to enable using the positional rings without breaking the game. Or breaking the run, rather. Because these rings are cool. They unlock. These are the rings we're allowed to use. I like, th these are pretty cool. I like them because they all do a little bit of a positional buff. Grants plus two res to adjacent allies, plus two defense at start of battle, and then spur attack. I really like these rings. I feel like there should be more things like this in the game that are all about positioning, because ultimately the only thing you can really do in this game aside from min-maxing and planning is moves and positioning. So that should add some, some fun to the run, I would say. A little bit of variety. Uh, we can save it and start the next battle. <laughs> Slayling plus Veil is very cursed. You know what? Should I post this to FE Engage Reddit? <laughs> I know they don't like it when you post shit. I'll see if I can get away with it. I'm going to try posting the stream to that. Uh, YouTube Studio. I post every now and then to Reddit. Most people on there are fine. Like with every community. Shareable link. Let's go to if you engage, create a post, link, uh, emblem list slash no stream. All right, I can add tags. Oh, post. All right, cool. All right, posted it. Gotta get our shit out there. <laughs> we have to infect the internet. Just add Slay and Veil together. Did you manage Cal Mill or toss it in the trash? I haven't been doing the reverse recruitment. Uh, I think I got, I could probably go back to it soon. All right, we got Rosado in the building. You made Hortensia sad, now I have to kill you. It's like, Jesus, dude. <laughs> like cutting a hand off for stealing, but worse. All right, we skip these. Does Alir have staff proficiency? 
Uh, someone did super chat for it. I probably should do it. We did, and we voted for it. Technically, I should be doing it, but as soon as I enter some new, I'm gonna get a bunch of things. Uh, what else can I get staff? Maybe if I do it late, I'm fine with it. We'll, we'll unlock it after I get staff proficiency back. So let me go to edit. We'll say, so chapters, what is that, chapter 17? When you get staff proficiency back, I think Leaf gives it, doesn't he? Oh, it'll just be whenever it unlocks. Uh, super chats. Griffin Knight Allier unlocks after getting back. Okay, so I, I don't get it early, I get it late. I think that would be fine. Because having another flyer early would be pretty useful. It would be too good, I think. I can't add staff until you get Leaf back. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, so when we get Leaf back... The thought of me doing a casual slash first run is incomprehensible. Uh, what do you mean casual slash first? Uh, Alright, so this map, it's really good to do this. Let's give her a brand new shiny set of volms. She's going to be tanking an entire flank, so... Godspeed to Yunaka. <laughs> Godspeed. Dude, she's going to be doing this in two maps. Let's give her all these one bones. Alright, and then who else has stat boosters? Store that. We're going to we're gonna explicitly uh, keep track of who's using what stat boosters, because it's a limit of three per unit. Like, you can't use more than three total. Uh, Alright. Starting positions. Definitely want this. Archers are huge, so archers stay on this side. Probably the more durable tank. <laughs> Lapis is just here. Uh, these are, I mean, these are backups, right? Backups are good. Just wind. Oh yeah, Slaylene could have thunder. Oh, yeah, and L surge too. Maybe drop the iron sword. It's kind of kind of a meme for her. So thunder, L surge. And then just like a Voln 1 or something. It's fine. Alright, then we have the rewarps. Now for the... Rosado pull? Oh, like your first playthrough with no self-inflicted rolls. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, if I cover a new game... Alright, speaking of new games, that Emerald Saga game looks pretty good, actually. I was looking into that. It's like a strategy game. So I have kind of... Tempered expectations for it. <laughs> No! Okay. Now what we would like yes. to do... See, people thought I was kidding about the Slaylene. Guess what? <laughs> it's real. <laughs> Slaylene is real. Let's talk about this guy. Okay. Definitely not you, you just hang out. <laughs> Slay Naka emblem emote win. Soon, if we hit 100 uh, channel members, I can do that. Whatever you need. It's unlikely to happen soon, though. I'll have to grow the channel quite a bit, make more content and stuff. Uh, I guess you will hang out over here. She does zero damage to the armor, but she can start stacking damage on this. And then, like, retreat to here. I'll do my best. And you guys will hang out. Actually, I'm you should be over set. here. And then grab that hand axe. Cool. Alright. I think she kills the armor? I want to say she kills the armor. If the bird goes first, we're in trouble. Four damage is poison, that's nice. Good. She kills the armor. Hell yeah, exact damage, dude. And she crits, too. Slaylene deliver. <laughs> He's like, I want to run her in this run, even though it's a bad idea. And I know it's a bad idea. I mean, she's alright. She does things. She does things. Everyone, let's give ICG your energy. <laughs> give me your energy. I require your energy. For Slaylene. Alright, Boucheron. Put chip on Rosato. Admit it, you're just keeping Slaylene alive for her passive and to sacrifice her for Operation Teacup. Oh, he missed? Come on, Boucheron. Come on, Boucheroosh. <laughs> Boucheroosh. 
Oh, you double Rosado. What a champion. What an absolute Chad. All right, you're just going to stand there and observe the way Chloe fights. All right. <laughs> Damage could be higher. All right, we have Valir passive, male, female passive. We have both passives. Uh, crit rate. We have a good chance of dying to a crit. So what's the damage? So he gets down to 22 versus... Okay. It's slightly better. We'll do it. She might dodge, too. Need some help? Dodging would be <laughs> ideal here. I've had enough. Oh, getting crit is not ideal. <laughs> Slayly is the tea party. All right, we don't want to get crit in the opening, believe it or not. Let's go back because Boosh missed anyways. So let's find something else to do. Wind is ineffective against him. We do have Alchris, who I didn't position well to get the damage bonus, but he can one shots. He can do this. Dude, he actually is really good. I'll be honest with you. He's like everything Etie wants to be, but better. He's super low investment. He has really he has absurdly high dex, so he doesn't need to use dex improving a uh, dex improving uh, emblems. <laughs> Engravings. I'm like forgetting the names of the things. His strength plus three passive. He also has higher magic than her for Radiant Bow, which is something people forget. I don't know why. It's like the most obvious part of why you would use him. <laughs> he has like slightly higher magic. Uh, all right, so let's say Boucheron. Uh, can he kill? No, he can't kill. I don't even want to stack this up. We definitely want to start getting backups involved. What does Anna do? That's better. Let's start here. How dare you make her, <laughs> How dare you make her sad? He's in a hard carry, but performs with low investment. Yeah, I think that's like really his niche. Same thing with like Fogato. They're just like good units you can use that don't. Isn't that why Fogato's best bow boy? Actually, I think she is. I think this is the best bow unit in the game. It's it's Master Seal. Pretty easy to raise. Uh, some people disagree, but she starts out at level five and you can hand her Micaiah and she levels up to 10 in one to two chapters. So I don't know, Real reality disagrees, unfortunately. <laughs> the proof is in the pudding, the Slaylene pudding. Kind of surge, okay. What about a thunder poke? What about a damage boosted thunder poke after Chloe attacks? How's that sound? Okay. Don't die. <laughs> okay, crit. Good. Okay, crit. Under poke. Hmm. Damage is not there. We almost have it. Mike said bow boy. Anna's not a bow boy. All right, <laughs> do we feel? Oh, well, whatever. Bushron can get a kill. He's allowed to. Move to tears, dude. <laughs> Move to tears value. All right, we did it. We took him out just like we took out Princess Ivy, huh? <laughs> I did it. <laughs> He's so dumb, dude. He's great. All right, you heal her so she can tank. Does he get one rounded by the way? I didn't even check this. I think he gets one rounded by that flyer. I want to say he does. Oh, he's one speed fast enough. All right, he is officially a Chad. This, we'll do this. We'll pull this away. Relieve some pressure from Yunako. Oh, 15 damage. Oh, they hit a 27. <laughs> Move to tears. Uh-oh. Oh, and she crit too. <laughs> Poison stack three. Whew, they do not care about the Lapis, man. They're going right for Yunaka. They do not care about the Lapis at all. Oh, he got 16% hit. Unfortunate. Only a Woogalier can kill. Oh, I could have changed Anna's weapon to melee and then she could have gotten extra assist. 
Oh well, it's too late for that. Okay, I think we rotate. Just a scratch. We're gonna go ham here. We're going aggressive. Here, Draco Shield. We got time, don't worry. Another kill for me. Another kill for me. Alright, Operation Lapis. Come on, Lapis. <laughs> you have the kill. Uh, does John tank this, though? I want to say he doesn't. Alright, we'll go for 13. I'm taking some hits. <laughs> I'm taking some hits. That's right, Boucheron. You're our tank. I'm sorry. I'm not sorry, dude. That's how it is. Now, we could be in a situation. Uh, I'm gonna try this. You have to try it, right? Depending on who goes, we could be fine. She should not be the target here. They might go after her, but they don't have backups anymore. Like a backup attack setup. They prefer that. Uh, Slaylene can slay. You can also PK Thunder. Cause it's a weird spot, so I need to damage this guy. We need to get our PK Thunders off. And then for Alchrist, he can shoot from here, catch a heal. Okay. <laughs> there are times where I wish he was able to one range. Oh, I could one range if I had a mini bow. <laughs> oh, should, should I have a mini bow on him on ironically in the a challenge run like this? It seems like a terrible idea. I mean, it kind of is a terrible idea. All right, let's do this. Let's try this. Uh, let's push here. Easily get this skill. Let me help. Guess I needed protecting. Boosh right up to here. Go for the big attack. 100 hit rate, he's got it. Is it over? <laughs> Body block the mage versus a leer. Kill the boosh. Prem has high res, she's fine. Okay, cool, gold mirror didn't go. And Yunaka should dodge. Oh, okay, she did. <laughs> I was about to say. She should dodge, in theory. But sometimes things go way, way, way wrong. And it's still close to one in five, which isn't really that good. Okay, and then... Operation Fram. Do we do Operation Fram? I would say Operation Longbow. What's the range on this? Okay, so if I two range... I really need to be changed to two range if I'm gonna do this. I can change her bow. She'll Longbow from here. We'll change her to a faster bow. Or a more damaging bow. To set up that mage as we push, as we push north. Fram is fine. A leer, have a kill. There you go. I had to stop you. For the emblems. And all these guys. I think Goldmary's five move. <laughs> well, we have these bones for a reason. <laughs> Start attacking Goldmary. Hey, wait, is it a thunder? If it's a thunder, then I can stay on longbow. Thought it was a wind. Oh, it is a thunder. Okay, yeah, I can stay on... I can stay on PK thunder. All right, we're gonna do... Kind of a weird push here. We have to kill Gold Mary. She's too big of a threat to leave alive. Uh, so, Jean... We're just gonna chip her down. And the rest of them, they have to kill the mage plus the thief who's going to be escaping soon.
Poison card? Oh, Lapis. Ah, just wait. You're fine. As long as we keep them body blocked and Gold Mary can't do anything. Ooh, she doubles the thunder. Hell yes. That's perfect. Thief goes to run away. Oh, does the thief get away right on that? Right, right away, actually. That might be a problem. Oh! I wish archers were backups. Yeah, it kind of sucks they're not. Oh, he does get away, doesn't he? Well, I have a lot of attacks. Here, let's do this. A slight setback. He double me? He does. All right, so we need some poke. Initial poke. Does he double you? 18 speed? Jesus Christ. <laughs> do you tank it? This thing's pretty damaging. Okay. All right, thunder him from here, I guess. Hit this. Okay. <laughs> It's fine for now. What's next? What's next? He's slow as hell. He survives though. All right, Boosh, you gotta survive, dude. Hit this attack and we have it. Hit this attack. Just hit the attack, Boosh. You got this, man. You got this. Yes. Hell yeah, and he didn't get crit. Perfect. Good job, Boosh. And then Anna with her slight setback. We'll go for Iron Bow, 93. In the Slay mod, they just remove Veil. No, because of how cursed the combination is. Pretty tough, you know. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Shamir, the best archer. All right, we got some stuff. We got, so we got a lot of good stuff. I love that uh, chest plus thief combo. You get a lot of good items. All right, and then back to this. Please tell me you have damage on her. Oh, all right, so we're gonna have to chip her down. <laughs> Yo, Lapis. We're gonna have to chip down. That's her face. Three damage at a time. Ooh. Oh, his passive. Hell yeah, dude. His passive is so good. Hit. No. <laughs> She dodged it with her weird healed flat shoes. All right, I think we pass here. I might unequip Lapis. Get behind me. Ooh. Shamir is cool and all, but Wolt is better. All right, let's rotate. <laughs> Way to live, Boosh. <laughs> He's a survivor. He could do it. I knew he could do it. Okay. Hit this, dude. Hit the attack. Hit. Thank you. <laughs> I don't want to let Gold Mary out. She's too dangerous. So Lapis will be a punching bag for a turn. Until the other damage gets over here. If I let her out, she's going to kill someone, so... <laughs> it's not ideal. Oof! <laughs> Yunaka got hit. Get in there, Slaley, and go. <laughs> we need damage, man. Oh, get in there. Quickly, quickly now. All right, get healed, you dingus. Gold Mary outfit tier list. <laughs> hmm, F tier. <laughs> F tier, all of it. No, she has okay outfits. Some of her, I feel like her default is the only really good one. I don't like most of the other ones. Her on Thief just looks kind of weird. Looks sus. The kids would say it looks sus. And I'm inclined to agree. Alright, no XP. I'm gonna have her heal just in case she gets hit. Oh, 
<laughs> I'll be yelling. Hell yeah. Ooh. Sussy Baka. We finally have a mage. And true damage as well. Here we go. Let's get a backup on her. Finally, a backup. Oh, and a, <laughs> come on, Anne. <laughs> what are you doing? The goofing. Here we go. Hit both of these. Hit both of these. Fantastic. Gold Mary has been destroyed. And our boy is level four. He almost has Luna. He's getting kind of fast, actually. 15 speed for an archer. Not bad. E drop. Okay. All right. These guys got to go. They're healing people. I can choose who I feed here. Let's heal everyone, too, before the big push. You promised an engage outfit tier list? Yeah, we can do one, I guess. I need to get... We need all the images, though, of all the the things is there like an image list somewhere or is there like on the wiki or something for each character because if we could do that then we could actually review it do some kind of stream we could do like a part we, we could alternate the characters for fun like he does one then i do one and so on and we're both on each other so that could be cool all right who wants this kill alchris level four chloe level four and i think we want a little anna a bit here goes. Start getting some more gold, maybe. She's already made us 1k, so I'm pretty happy with that. 1k before her luck is even in double digits. All in a day's work. Okay, and then this guy. This guy wants to be introduced to Slaylene. You probably can just search on YouTube. Oh yeah, maybe there is one, yeah. There's like, there's a DeviantArt account. <laughs> that doesn't surprise me. <laughs> That's the most DeviantArt account thing I've ever heard of. But there's a thing for each one. Dude, DeviantArt is like crazy now. It has like AI as like part of their thing where they're like selling people on like, oh, if you get a, if you become a member, you can get, you can generate 20 AI images a month or something. It's like, what the hell is that? Isn't that like anti-artist? <laughs> Isn't that like a race to the bottom? Kind of weird. Uh, let's see. Wants this kill. We can feed Slaylene, but I'd rather her set this up and then someone else take it. Some big damage on that boy. And we have Armor Slayer. It almost kills. We just need a backup. Whatever you need. Okay. Anytime. Did you know DeviantArt has contributed to recent economic inflation? <laughs> I know what you're trying to do. I know I know what you're trying to do there. And I appreciate it. That's very funny. <laughs> For more information, look up DeviantArt Inflation. <laughs> For more information on economic inflation. Sign you're not going to make it at the end of the run, Coffee. Is reluctant to feed you. True. Yeah, if I don't feed a unit, they're probably not getting used. There are, like, I would say... Almost half the cast is viable in this run. Which is cool, because that means that the game is mostly balanced. If only like five of them were, that would suck. But overall, I'd say it's pretty fine. Alright, and then this guy should get healed by Jean. We're going to set up the Hort dive, the standard Hortensia dive. As you do in life. And I don't think I'll do the, the gimmick with rewarp. The, the reasoning is I want to save Rewarp, and I should be able to beat this without it. I don't understand how you give up on Panet in this run. Uh, dex cap. <laughs> That's all I have to say. Her dex cap is abysmal. So many units are just not viable in this run because of dex cap, and you're just wasting pulses relying on their 50-50s. She can be valuable if she hits and crits, but there are other units who can more reliably kill off of crits that double, like Kagetsu, Marin. Uh, Tamara through her sandstorm and so on. Chloe.
just wait. We're, we're gonna have Jean heal everyone. He's going to be a utility. I'm not gonna do XP farming, I'm just healing. So, that's fine. To be fair, you're the bad units in Divorce and Homeless. At least be filler. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, they're like, even right now, Boucheron is serviceable. He's putting out damage. He's helping with backups, you know? He's pretty good. He's fine. All right, John will heal these. And then we need to set up the Hort Dive. Most of the units are over here, so we can just kind of move this way. All right, so she... I hope the Armor Slayer doubles. It does not. <laughs> Unless I do a speed boost, which I could do. I'll use a speed tonic. We'll start using some tonics, actually. What breakpoints am I missing? Uh, can you hit that on the flyers? All right, flyers we have archers for. All right, flyer one, flyer two. Uh, Alir needs damaged or damage and speed tonic. I don't mind using them in battle because we have time. So normally you don't though. I don't know what Lapis is going to do. I guess backup attacks on this. Uh, Chloe's going to kill the archer. That's usually what she does. She'll go here, dive the archer. Archer 1 kills flyer 1. Archer 2 kills flyer 2. Alir goes for kill on this. Saline kills this with... Uh, actually, hold on. She needs to get Hellfire. I think she can double on that too. <laughs> then John needs to heal people. Yunaka could be... She can assist with the armor, too. She can do uh, true damage poison. Put six damage on. Uh, Lapis can stand next to it. The other half is referred to as expendable. That's true. Let me get this... Hellfire for Slaylene. Oh yeah, then Yunaka can use Steel Dagger, too. So... Bramble rotates. Boosh. Boosh will just kind of hang out. He can hand axe something. Maybe. She needs her Hellfire. Okay. Oh, wait, Anna can also hammer. If we have a different way to kill this. We'll see what we have. Right, Fram can get the steel art. Yonaka needs the daggers. She needs to go up here anyways. Lapis chills out. Always in position. Alcris. He can go here. Fine. He can help Slaylene. Jean. He might as well go this way. Yeah. What would you call the outfit? Stream Slaylene emblem tier list? I don't know yet. We'll figure it out. We'll figure out something. Alright, Steel Dagger. And then she has Elfire. Depending on which one works, they both double. I'm, I would think Elfire kills, or if not, barely. <laughs> Emblem and Slage. <laughs> this. Okay. She actually can't get in to help. <laughs> slay Bloom, Slay Gage. Slay Emblem. All right, then we need Saline. She has to rotate all the way over here. <laughs> take a minute. Surge should kill. 
L fire plus hand axe will kill as well. And he has this with steel bow. All right, next turn we have it. I have you now. Cool. <laughs> 100% hit rate because of the... I mean, you don't miss these, really. In the outfit, in the outfit stream, you call every unit slay something. I'm not against it. We can call them the slays, slaylene, slaybloom. All right, then archer situation, steel bow. I had no choice but to win. Let's push these in. Hmm. Can anyone trade her? Did she get one round on Steel Lands? Anyone trade her? No, I don't think anyone can trade her. Then we have to do this. Ooh, do we have to kill? <laughs> Which I don't know. Oh, but Anna can be switched. Uh, can she be switched? She goes here. Did she longbow this? Maybe we can combo this. The longbow. With Lapis. Oh, Lapis is just dead here. She doesn't do anything. Okay. Yeah. Because if she shoots from here, we've already started the attack. Is there any way to tank this better? Is there any way to deal more damage? <laughs> I don't think so. I guess we'll just go for it. Yunaka won't kill, unless his defense is low. No, she's not going to have enough damage. Yeah, it's still just 3 die. I mean, maybe she gets a 9%. Okay. <laughs> she didn't. It's fine. I guess we'll have to tank the armor. He might be able to kill Jean, though. I wasn't planning on him being alive, so that's a problem. What's his damage? 25. He tanks it, actually. All right, right on. But she might not tank. Well, she's magic. So she should She should tank Hort. His Hort's going to attack with magic. We'll see. Depends on who attacks first. Ooh, good dodge. That might have been a kill. Let's see. Ten. No, I think she tanks it. It would just be it'd just be twenty-seven total. She's thirty-three. I'm pretty tough, you know. All right, and then we do this. Get some poison on Hort. Then some assists. Okay. Oh, and then Lapis as well, dude. Hell yeah. All the supports. Wants this health bar? Is it going Probably Chloe. Yeah, let's feed it to Chloe. Oh! 
Okay, aw, oh, damn it. <laughs> we need those hits, dude. We definitely want those hits. Uh, Boosh could go like this. I don't think he'll miss a 91. Cool, took out the armor. Now we have more backups. Uh, this gets us, that doesn't get us passive. This does, this gets us Chloe passive. Maybe a Leer attacks now from here. Uh, gotta kill, man. No, you die. Leer dies no matter what. Actually, no. Leer does not die no matter what. That plus Fram. Hold on, let's see. I can L Surge with this. <laughs> it does no damage, though. Oh, because I'm not getting the assists. That's why. Let's go here. Go for a thing. A Leer last hits. Alcris and Chloe probably kills. <laughs> One damage. Or maybe Fram. Just in case we need it. Yeah, let's do Fram. <laughs> this is okay, and then a leer. Wait, Chloe, Chloe, passive from here. Javelin. Then Alchrist, then a leer, and I think we have it. Yeah, we should have it. Don't forget me. Me too. Yeah, we have it. Cool. So <laughs> I'll do the armor slayer. Well, hold on. Yeah, then just two of the, the chains need to hit plus the armor. We'll see. Actually, all that needs to hit, doesn't it? Or no. If we miss the armor, we're in trouble. Okay, cool. We got it. Didn't have to lift a finger. <laughs> oh, no. No, Chloe! <laughs> oh, dude, what a goat. She just dodged that. I didn't even notice that was in range. The Anna being in range is fine. Wow, we double dodged. That's pretty lucky, actually. She wouldn't have gotten killed. Well, I would have. I could have changed Chloe's attack angle, though. She could have attacked from here. So I could have just pulsed that. All right. Let's say Anna gets a kill. Uh, actually, let's give her support. The 74 dodge. The Chloe, wow! <laughs> yeah, it's definitely a Chloe wow moment. All in a day's work. Give me an order. Hit. Nice, gotta hit him. He's pretty reliable. Look at that. He hit two fifties. It's fast enough to double things. That's pretty good. All right, then we'll heal up. The next part's pretty hard. I probably should give, hold on, what's speeds. Speed of a science. All right, let's give Chloe two tonics. Well, speed and strength tonic. St speed and strength tonic. Or uh, what about this guy? He can get doubled by a lot of things. I'll do my best. <laughs> Make him fight his father. 
I think we're gonna do that actually. That is the plan. The clan plan. Go ahead. Alright, everyone will line up to get their heals in. My resolve is unchanged. I'll just heal for free off bats. We'll get John to like level six or something. Or he is level six. Level seven. We'll convoy strength. Okay. Alacris. He actually is good. To be honest. Look at his defense too. Eleven defense. I think he's highest defense on the team right now. He is. He's highest defense on the team as an archer kind of cool and he can be on an evasion tank and health wise uh boosh has, has higher health chloe has higher health slightly uh anna has higher health he's like moderate durability alacris is always decent it's just that he doesn't enemy phase true well he can on minibo <laughs> or on emblems so technically he kind of can all right, so for this poll, let me look at what we're dealing with again. Sword guys. So if we break through, we want to immediately kill these. You don't want these to ball up. Can you double? Oh, she can, can't she? On steel? No, on, on iron. She can double on iron. She might be able to one round with a leer. Plus her uh, fairy tale folk. She's actually really good in this run. Even when I wasn't optimizing her that much, she still was like really good damage and utility. The entire run and she never fell off against certain targets her damage was lower but she could always rider's bane and she had like flame lance and she was doubling armors on flame lance consistently and doing good damage to those so pretty pretty good performance and who else who here let's have you heal like that one thing i wanted to try on alchris was alchris roy and make him a Binding Blade Luna Procker. I think he'd be like 55 decks. I'm pretty sure, not someone's gonna steal that build, but I'm pretty sure that would be good. Cause Roy gives him a ton of strength. His passive gives him strength. Popping Roy gives you uh, dex, speed and strength. So it kind of helps speed fix. And I think the build would be like sword power or maybe not even sword power. Uh, maybe dex plus five and speed plus five. <laughs> be a really weird build. And you just go for Luna procs. He would be like 50 decks, and he can one to two range. He wouldn't be tanky though, but it would be a neat little gimmick. Be kind of fun. All right, John will heal. Okay, and then we've decided the enemy phase with Chloe here. And then these, this other one. So 15 speed, who can double that first of all? I don't think anyone can, 15, need 20 speed. It's quite fast. That's like no one else on the team, even with the tonic. So, who hits hard? <laughs> I'm looking at my team, everyone's weak. I guess Saline could with uh, L Surge. Oh, but she would get doubled. <laughs> Probably 15 speed. She would yes. get doubled. What's their, or what are their defensive stats? Nine and 10, or 10 and nine rather. 10 and nine. We should go for a crit. She could get chain guarded. Alir can stand in the middle. Yeah, let's do that. All right, Alir stands in the middle. She gets chain guarded. We want to kill those sword guys immediately because they can stack out damage with the boss. So you want to get rid of those. <laughs> My Joy-Con just like freaked out for a second. All right, next turn. Uh, 
Oh, he's gonna Astro me? Will he though? I think he creates doubles first. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he creates doubles first, so we can do this. Yeah. All right, iron. Okay. Uh, I need a mail. Yep. All right, double passives. L surge, then chain guard. And we can have some supporters. These will just kind of hang out, just in case I need to drop back. Oh! Alright. I should have chain guarded. Whew. I would have tanked that, but I should have chain guarded on John anyways. Here we go, she has a kill. Perfect. Get behind me, trigger. Alright, she puts him in half. She slays. Slay Lee. But I think he does doubles. Oh, he doesn't even do it yet. Okay. So I think the thing we should do... Now that I dodged... What's his move? Five? One, two, three, four, five. I can't get out of range unless I use Obstructile. Which, there's limited Obstruct uses early on. But you get infinite eventually. So maybe... We obstruct him, so he's forced to fight her. Uh, let's do this. I think, hold on, how would we obstruct him? Maybe this. Then Anna can kill that. I could double obstruct and then force him to fight Chloe. Who doubles him, I think, on Javelin. Yeah, <laughs> she definitely does. Alright, Slaylene gets out. Envoy. Let's have her heal herself. Alright, Staff Bods. Now, if she gets broken... Oh, she only does one damage? <laughs> That's a waste, then. Um, one damage, huh? That's not really what we want. Here, let's do this. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to trade her weapon. Damn. <laughs> I meant to trade her. Hold on. <laughs> Let's see if he goes for it. I'm a little late. Alright, 10 speed. One, two, three, four, five, Hetsunaka. One, two, three, four, five, hit Saline. Or Lapis. <laughs> we'll see what he does. It's probably gonna be sloppy, but we killed the sword fighters at least. He goes for Yunaka. Oh, he has kill too, but he missed. Hit a perfectly lethal blow. Alright, we definitely want to poison him. Zero damage. Dang, dude, you're gonna die to this? Maybe she dodges. It's Lapis we're talking about. She's sharing the spoils. Oh, she dodged. Alright, chain guards off. 
his chip damage on him. We have two backups on him. Let's get a third. We're gonna backup spam him. That's gonna be the strat. Ooh, good dodge too. Oh, I just noticed the tomahawk was bouncing in the background. That was kind of funny. You have damage? Not you. Is zero. Okay, zero damage. We have Alcris poke. Jean attack and convert to damage. Kill Chloe. I want to get poison on him, but it's gonna be tricky to do that. In order to have, I mean, if I do this, I could do it. Like an attack. I take some big damage though. We can do an attack while Lear has damage bonus. Need some help? Okay. My will is firm. She has thunder. That's a health bar. All flowers eventually cool. wilt. Say the what word. do you have? Oh, you have. Ooh, she has good damage. Okay. She dies if she attacks. <laughs> Here we go. We have it. Father. Father. <laughs> don't forget me. That's right. Don't forget Boosh. Very important. This run. And to our family. I technically tank this, so I'm going for it. Dodge. Oh, all right. If he asters me, wait, did he pop doubles yet? No, I think he pops doubles first. I could be wrong though. He might just aster me randomly. Should be quite funny. Let's find out in like five seconds. <laughs> what? All right, he's. He's hitting, us with, he's hitting us with the rargs. The heal. It's not enough tank though. All right, poison. Poison for the lad. Hopefully he doesn't Astra Chloe or something. <laughs> I think that's what he's gonna do. Don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. Pop. Don't Astra. Oh no. Oh no. He's gonna do it, isn't he? Oh no. Oh damn it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay, we have to get the one guy to push in more. <laughs> we don't dive him like that. And then she levels up. He killed my best unit. That's bad. Let's not do that. Okay, so he Astra's first. This makes it a little awkward to attack him. Hmm. Who attacked him first? I don't even remember. I think it was Lapis. And she dodged, I want to say. <laughs> she dodged a lethal blow. Dang, dude. Let's just do a different thing. What's his speed on sword? 15, okay. All right, we probably have to drop back. Someone has to trade her. He, I think, gets one shot, doesn't he? Yeah, he does. <laughs> he gets one shot. All right, someone else will trade her. She gets one shot. You also get one shot. I think if he unequips, he doesn't. No, he still gets one shot. He doesn't get one shot. Alright, he can trade her. So Chloe can go here. Start attacking this.
Does this have heal? Does not. Okay. Eh, maybe we dodge. Who knows? We might dodge. Nope, he didn't. <laughs> Maybe he dodges on enemy face. <laughs> and then for Lapis... Operation Lapis... <laughs> is, uh... Good to go. She's gonna be a Astro Storm Magnet. Oh, maybe not. I wanna fight. But my body won't go. Divine one. <laughs> Divine one. <laughs> Wasn't someone like, oh, Etienne died, but <laughs> Lapis is still alive, so we're cool? Like, yeah, about that. <laughs> She's dead now, too. They're all dead. Okay. We have to be mindful of a lot now. In this position. <laughs> Oh, he's on he's on one range now. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, dude. He's almost dead. We're gonna have to do some shenanigans though. Yo, Alcris. We have to kill the archers now, or the archers, the flyers. We have the archers. We're trying to kill flyers right now. Please don't worry. Uh, he can tank it. He just has to go here and kill this. No choice but to win. The <laughs> lapis, no. <laughs> the slaylene. Uh, we do want to do this health bar like this. All right, here's a health bar. Silly lapis. If she was smarter, she would have been standard no reclassing run. Or she can become sword power blinding blade hero. I will not forget your <laughs> and not die. And yeah, she's in the wrong run. <laughs> Stupid flyers. All in a day's work. It's a poison. I have dumb ideas. Well, maybe they're smart ideas. I don't know. We'll find out. Mm, it's just a dodge that. Oh, I can't. I can't stay. I'm gonna get immediately one rounded. Damn it. <laughs> this sucks. As a dick. <laughs> That's not what we wanted to do. If they kill Boosh, I'm fine with it. I don't want anyone else to die, though. Let's chain guard. Damn, dude. <laughs> okay, they killed Boosh. And then I think we tank the Astro. Who are you, Astro? John, maybe? Oh, why? <laughs> he has a John kill just by a little bit. By three. Okay. Pretty obnoxious fight <laughs> for this challenge. It's definitely harder than the next map, that's for sure. This Astra is ridiculous, too. I don't even know if that stops him. She can't even get out of range, man. I hate Boucheron. I'm sorry.
What's hitting me there? He's hitting me there? Jesus Christ. Here. Does he one-shot John? That'd be obnoxious if he did. I think he one-shots and doubles him. Oh, no. Oh, Jesus Christ. She gets one-shot, too, and doubled. The default emotes are kind of good. I hate when I can't escape. And they just have, like, higher move than me. Not a fan of that. He gets doubled by everything? You get doubled on wind? Alright, don't get doubled on wind. She's so slow. <laughs> Saline. <laughs> All flowers eventually wilt. What? Did he waste her chain guard? Her zero? Yeah. <laughs> Gotta be kidding me. <laughs> wow, that's hilarious. Wait, how is it? I'm in Astro range no matter what I do, too. That's a thing that's ridiculous. All right. Let's do this shit. Zero damage. Why do you go from doing zero? Okay, I guess the break point's really that strict. All right, kill this guy. We'll have to body block. We'll have to spam obstruct from the this idiot. Start attacking him. I was hoping to waste the Astra early, but I don't have an opportunity to do so. Smart AI. <laughs> All right, and then you drop back. Okay, we're fine. He finally uses it. Tell me. I do not like siege weapons in this game. <laughs> well, any of these games. I like sieges. Alright, and then the layer. What's some tank? Cool. Alright, and heal. Okay. This is looking better now. Prefer to not have these flyers to deal with. They just waste a lot of turns or a lot of actions. I'll be careful. Just 
Siege weapons are fine when they're placed in the correct spots and aren't to limited use. I've never been, I've never liked them on any Fire Emblem game. Even when I have them, it just feels weird. It's just reminiscent of playing like Battlefield 3 or something when a sniper just kills you from across the map for no reason. It's like, why is that even there? <laughs> it's like completely removed from gameplay. But he killed me. <laughs> so I guess that's a thing. Now what is that? Do they have wind? Wind, huh? Eh, 37. Yeah, we might dodge. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Alright. Unlimited use. Oh, and aren't unlimited use? I don't mind them when they're limited as much. I, I kind of like Fog of War and Sieges. I don't know. They just never did anything for me. Uh, she's dead now. <laughs> Maybe she's not dead now. Maybe she's okay. Can you hit this guy? <laughs> the range is so bad. Alright. Uh, just get out of range. Okay. Oof. Jesus Christ, he one-shots her. Okay. Well, losing Louie definitely hurt. <laughs> the other map. What do these do, even? I could probably ignore them. I think they suck. I think I just need to kill one. Need to kill the sword, maybe. So we'll kill the sword with Anna, switch to... Switch her to Longbow. All in a day's work. I would like to poison him, but he does enough damage to kill Yunaka. Actually, if I have a Leer, though, he doesn't. Do a Leer... Poison. Cool. Oh, I didn't switch Anna. Oh, she could have switched Anna too. Damn, that sucks ass. I don't even think we have the kill though. He has like a ton of health. He's just like a big health bar, basically. Okay. Maybe we dodge this time. <laughs> nope, he hits. And yeah, we learned to clear the way, that's nice. He has a whole other health bar though. <laughs> okay, let's try... This. No choice but to win. Does he one shots with this? He has more damage on Tomahawk. Well, that's scary. All right, we'll do some nonsense. <laughs> oh, wait, actually, hold on. We can just do this. This. Go here. Wait. Chain guard. Struct here. Now, I don't know that he's going to attack Yunaka, though. That's the big issue. He probably won't, because those other things are just better targets. Especially the Ana. So, we kind of have to do this now. I had to guess he attacks all Chris. Yeah, or Anna. Jesus. <laughs> okay. 
Oh, fantastic. It's physic. <laughs> That's amazing. That's not what we needed. Enemies healing. Okay. And we can't escape them either. They're five move. Alright, alternate plan. Pulse used Iron Man over. These runs are too hard to do for Iron Man. Oh, Jesus Christ. All right, we have to use <laughs> this. Oh, the stupid emblem energy, man. I wanted to use it there. All right. What are their hit rates? His are quite bad. Oh, their hit rates are both bad, really. So Yunaka could waste a lot of turns here. Just the scratch. I'm trying to split them now. This is getting like unmanageable. <laughs> Dude, everyone, someone's dead in every position. It sucks ass. All right, get out of here. She can't help. Too far away. Or no, maybe not. Protect Jean. They should go for Yunaka. They're mystics, though. They can just kill Yunaka. Because that's a thing. Turns out. Anna can't heal. She's at low HP. This is, like, the worst thing to do on this map. Objectively, it's just actually really terrible. Doing this is actually a really bad idea. You really just want to kill them. You think it's possible devs have not tested no run? I doubt they tested this. There's no reason to. She's dead. She's so dead. Just dodge 87. Yep. All right. Oh. <laughs> Okay. That is so much worse. It just gets... It, if you don't kill him early, it just really keeps getting worse. That's one thing I've noticed about this map. Like, you either kill him early and kill it, or you get slow pushed down. Now, if you have emblems, obviously everything changes, because you have get a jail free card abilities, but... <laughs> Devs don't test their games. I think they just make sure stuff works. To be honest. They don't care about balance. Oh, man. All right, we're two hours in. I'll protect you. Interesting. You okay, what can we even do here? He's always going to favorably attack, and I'm not going to be able to stack poison on him or really do meaningful damage. If you kill him, he dies. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. I honestly don't see any way to win right now with these resources. If they cared about balance, then chapters wouldn't have 30 turns of reinforcements, like Tiki or infinite reinforcements. True. So like, if I push up into anything, I basically get killed by an Astro Storm. She's my main damage, and she immediately dies to Astro Storm. So no matter what she's doing, I could health tonic her, stand next to a Lear and she tanks it. But she has to be a max HP. And she also has to be health tonic, which she's not. 
So, two issues with that. Okay. Frame attack, she dies. <laughs> she just dies from one of the two things. Jean doesn't die next to Alir. These are too far away to help, also. So this was like the initial pull, but then it just like goes all downhill from here. I need someone to waste the Astro Storm safely. But I can't do that because he's like bodyguarding the whole front here. I think we just do the stupid rewarp thing. That makes it so much easier. That makes it like <laughs> laughably easy. We're gonna do the stupid rewarp thing. <laughs> I'm listening. Losing the losing Citrine and Louie, I think, is the main damage we're missing. So we'll have to do this through degeneracy. I think it's just this, right? I tried to do it legit though. I have done it legit too. I just lost really good damage units in the previous chapter. <laughs> oh, do they not aggro? Is that a thing? Oh, what did he even do? Let me go here. <laughs> what? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I think that was my last pulse. Did that just happen? Oh my god. 3%? Alright. All right, that's stupid as hell. That is so cheap. Oh, I need to get into chess, dude. Why am I playing this game? <laughs> At least that game is pure skill. You don't get, you don't get 3% in chess. It just doesn't happen. Damn. Wow. Okay. Oh, wow. Well, that was fun. <laughs> Jesus Christ. 3% crit, dude. That's so stupid. <laughs> that is so stupid. 3% <laughs> chance the bishop pulls out explosive shotgun and snipes the king. Okay. Well, that happened. Let's move on from it. Uh, Slaylene was over yes. here. Slaylene. 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 She could attack here. She would die immediately afterwards, but she could do it. Yes. Well, this. I heard a bird in the background. Yeah, I have a window open. Do you like the birds? <laughs> They're pretty good. Whatever you need. Why did I just move her there? I just like moved her over one tile, I don't know why. <laughs> 10 likes, or 12, 10 likes, 12 likes. <laughs> come on. <laughs> That's right guys, come on. Yes, queen. Slay queen, slay lean. All right, let's actually do this, though. I really shouldn't have committed to losing Louis and Citrine. I think that's my biggest mistake. Because she's a little bit weaker. She's faster, though. Damn. It took so long to set up that horde dive, too. <laughs> the horde dive. I'm listening. My will is firm. I got everything, I got the thief, I did everything correctly, and then I just got 3%. Oh. Not sure how I feel about that. Whatever you say. <laughs> oh. 
No one liked the stream when you said that, Leoros. They're just like, nah. Go ahead. I'll do my best. Maybe I should tonic. I'm prepared. What's next? What am I even doing? I'm just like moving dudes around. Here I go. Alright. Oh, she dodged. That's nice. Oh, what are you doing up here, dude? <laughs> that's, I mean, that's fine. He's like attackable. He's very attackable up there. Oh yeah, Bushron's supposed to be over here. He's supposed to have hand axe on him too. I probably should reset my inventories so I actually have. She could be on, or she can't be on steel yet. Uh, but we could have certain things set up. All right, so we got archers. We have slays. And lean. Sixteen speed. Ah. Oh. I really should have tonic to Yeah, I probably should tonic and stuff. Let's do that. We should probably tonic. We should probably tonic. Let's delete this. Yep. Yeah. Okay. All right, so speed, defense, strength. I should have done health, huh? All right, so those are her three tonics. Slaylene. We'll do speed. Maybe magic. Speed and magic. <laughs> Tonic the hedgehog. And then Alir. Alir doesn't really do damage. I know Alir needs speed tonic to double. So we'll do speed and strength. Anna. Anna's fine. You Daka though. Oh yeah, that he needs his hand axe. He needs his Bushin hand axe. And he could also have this too. And the pole axe. He's utility, Sharon. Then she could have more than just a stupid iron sword. Uh, I can't use this yet. <laughs> Slim and iron. All it's available. I gave her iron blade. Give her iron blade back. She likes it. Rewarp obstruct. Okay. Alright, that looks fine. We're committing to those units being dead. <laughs> it's not wise. Say the word. Yes. Your steward's ready. Whatever you need. Anytime. Let's hear it. I'm all set. Boucheron. Here goes. You got it. Okay, let's try that. Okay. 
Who's your next promote? Um. Oh dang, she crit. <laughs> Maybe a Leer. I don't know. Could it be a Leer? Who else is an option? Saline's okay, but I don't know. What if you did a community engagement? Whoa, she crit there. That's huge. That saves us some combats. Well, a combat. Community engagement thing where you challenge the first 10 people to complete this challenge. You get free Discord roll. Uh, like the member roll? I'll protect you. That could be fun. They would have. There would have to be proof though, because I think you could just like mod the game to like do some stuff if someone really wanted to. I guess we position here. You attack him? Yeah, just don't get crit. Do five damage. How dare you make Hortensia sad? <laughs> Alright, good job not getting crit earlier. Oh no, just a roll. Oh, I see. Actually, that's a great idea. That's a really good idea. Like a unique roll with an icon and stuff. That's the idea, they'd have to submit proof. <laughs> Dang, dude, do we have this kill? This is like looking pretty suspect. We definitely have this kill. How did I kill him before? I know we do Boucheron. How dare you make the Hort sad. I know, right? Like, why would we do that to her? All she did was try to invade some place and steal our rings. Oh. That's not good. <laughs> that is not good at all. At least we have two backups after this. Steel bow. All right, that's good damage. Get him down to two thirds. Suspects. And she has it. Huge. Oh boy, a killer axe. How about a Slaylene instead? Uh, yeah, El Surge in the, the woods. The pillar woods. Wait, how big are these pillars? I think they're comically small, aren't they? Oh no, these ones are actually scaled correctly. Sometimes the pillars are like super tiny. This time they're actually huge. The tiny ones are funny. Because it's like, how do tiny pillars give you 20 avoid? And then this. This kind of worked out last time. Time to finish the job. Ooh, nice. Hell yeah, dude. And then we offer them Lapis. With the understanding that they won't accept the offer. Rude. Oh, he hit a 27. <laughs> That's not good. Oh, and she crit too. Oh, they do accept the offer. You get one lapis. We get. Uh, fun fact: in this game, each grid is five by five meters. Oh, Jesus Christ! Oh, <laughs> Yunaka just got smashed out of the pillars. Damn, dude! I need her for the next map. I can't be having her die. I guess we don't offer Lapis. We actually want her to be attacked. <laughs> you offer them Lapis like she's a piece of meat. She's chain guarded by a young British doctor. <laughs> she's fine. Whoa, I almost just like fell over. Holy shit, I'm like losing my balance. That would be bad. All right, we, get, we actually are gonna get out of here. We're not gonna offer Lapis anymore. I've changed my mind. Oh, we still have to kill. Oh yeah. <laughs> right. These need to die. But of course. I had no choice but to win.
Alright, I'm gonna attack and dodge. Or no, I didn't get crit. That's what it was. Don't get crit. Don't get crit. Thank you. <laughs> Do not get crit. There's no need. Go hand axe, you can do it. He can this time. Technically, we're all pieces of meat. <laughs> we are all pieces of meat. What is this, meat theory? But that's just a theory. A Tamara theory. I'll take this. <laughs> the sneeze. Yeah, I tried to mute it in time, but it's too quick. I'm still like, I swear I'm like sick or something. I don't know. I think I just need more sleep, maybe. Now I've done it. You took me out just. We're all meat piloting a bone mech. That is the saying. Sneeze power plus five. Surge again. Hopefully we don't die this time. All right, I got an eight thousand steps. That's decent. So what's up with that emerald saga? What's going on with that? What's going on with the saga? Treadmill all the way. All right. Your sneezes are smash weapons. Oh. Okay. A little lightheaded. All right. What do we got going on here? She has a kill. Oh yeah. What else do we want to do? Very close to having that. I can keep going. Mm. Yeah. Surprised you didn't just yoink the chest with Chloe at the start. I needed her to attack. I don't mind killing the thief. I just need a male and a female here and here. So we have to kill this guy. <laughs> Start shooting. Wait, why is she in a void tile? Why is she doing that, man? Now, Yunaka can kill this, and the other guy moves. You're dead. Oh, I'm a crit as well. Okay. Oh, there's trees out here? I just not noticed that. It's like a snowy background. Wait, what about up here? Is there snow too? Oh yeah, look at that. It's snowing outside. That's cool. It's a little snowy scene for you. Now we'll do this again. Alright, how did we get this guy stuck? We had two units who could tank him. Alright, I guess we'll do this. We'll start shooting at Bronze Mary. I must have... Where is the touching grass art stream? <laughs> that one's later. Yeah. 
<laughs> Epic snow. We need a mini bow. I can't believe I'm saying that too, but we actually do want one. <laughs> we want the mini bow. So that Alcaris can one range. I will not forget your loss. There we go, this will do enough. Then Alcris rotates. <laughs> this thing is so obnoxious. <laughs> it just keeps pot shouting you. Whatever. We'll allow it. Behind me! Mini bow can also be needed on warrior. True. It's an interesting use case. Now the goal do my best. to kill goal duh Mary. Oh look at that, we actually have good damage now with the Anna. <laughs> Our goal is the gold. Oh look at the steel bow damage though. Eight. Oh, miss. Still, in theory, it's eight damage. Here you go, buddy. Been playing Three Hopes Maddening New Game. Trying out a challenge run. No maddening tier weapons and no character upgrades outside skills. Three Hopes, I don't know. It was alright, I guess. I tried to balance it with stuff. It's almost like you have to do work. To make some of these games difficult or something. Like this run is decent. It's pretty easy to follow too. Pretty simple. My will is firm. Where's it gone? Oh, block this. That's fine. He missed an 88. Twice, seemingly. All right, Slaylene, what do you got for me? A 12, 99, 12, hell yeah. <laughs> Let me guess, Sylvain's killing everything. <laughs> Why is Sylvain good in Three Hopes? I had some Three Hopes guides and I got some pushback on them because apparently you can min-max things beyond what I was doing. And I just didn't like the game enough to care because it was just so easy and boring. So I was like, it just doesn't matter. You just literally do whatever you want and win. <laughs> and that's and I proved it too. Sylvain is disgusting. Why? Wow, what does he do? Is it because they ruined his hair? Wait, hold on. What does he look like in Three Hopes? I feel like he looks really weird. Oh yeah, they ruined him, man. Look at his hair. Oh my god. They completely like ruined his hair. They gave him like Sonic the Hedgehog hair or something. <laughs> his normal hair is like really good. And this hair is just like, oh, it's rough. They killed him, man. He's supposed to be like the, the Chad that gets all the ladies or whatever. His normal attack gets bigger the higher your hit count is. Oh, that's stupid because it's so easy to get that. That's funny. Maybe that's to compensate for his new hideous hair. <laughs> You're like, well, we made him look bit worse physically, so he has to be better mechanically. We nerfed his hair. Man, that's the wrong one. Yes. Go, Alcris. Come 
Wait, he gets increase in range too. Yeah, I think I'm, after playing that, I'm done with Musou games. It was too, too chaotic. Well, not even chaotic. It, it was just like super janky. You could just kind of spam things and dodge roll and it, I don't know, seemed kind of stupid. It was really easy. It wasn't like it was a hard game. Our foes are strong. That new Prince of Persia game was actually hard. type games they could be good if they had like clean mechanics but i think because their mechanics are all over the place and it's too janky there's like no intentionality with the game design it's just like here's a bunch of crazy attacks that are nuts go go crazy <laughs> so i mean i can see why it appeals to people but it just doesn't you just don't get to do anything cool really that anyone also can't do through spamming Oh. My tism says play FE, but strat games burn you out. Oh, it's all good. <laughs> but you're, you, it's a, it's a fun game to goof off in. Like this challenge is kind of like zero chill. <laughs> like you have to make. I mean, right now we have like a static position due to like some stupid arrangement of units, but usually it's very calculation heavy, so you can't just do whatever you want. You have to do very specific moves. I have her heal because she could she could get hit by the thing and die. This guy's coming over here, thinking he's so cool. I'm trying to get javelin here. Set it up. All right. Set up the javelin. Yes. Simple enough. We probably want to rotate this. I had like an okay time with three hopes. I was hoping the bad dig would be different, but the mad dig was just kind of like, I don't know, broken weapon and then you're good to go. It had some promising mechanics. I feel like that's most games though. Like most games have like promising mechanics and then they just don't have like expectations of the player to be able to execute those mechanics. And they just give you like loopholes. Like, Super Meat Boy is really good at forcing the player to do specific things at specific times, and you have to execute on it. I read an E drop. Cool. Let me start attacking this guy. Here. Go ahead. You're not gonna get hit. It's twenty-seven percent. Should I let her slay? I don't think so. She'll slay the armor. The bow. The good thing about warriors, you can switch to bows to accurately hit targets. That's its real huge upside. <laughs> and she procced. No way, dude. Wait, did she proc? She procced in the previous map, right? Yeah, I think so. All right, so we're actually at 1.5k. All 
Alright, she said 1.5. 1.5! Seeing Anna sit next to an enemy unit feels wrong. Well, that's life. Sucks there's no magic dagger. Yeah, I know, right? Only there was a magic dagger. Oh, the funny thing is we can kill this. We just have to do this. <laughs> just keep spamming it. First one free. Hey -ya. Go, Alchrist. Use the power of chain attacks. You get six damage. Not done yet. Hell yeah. You're much more skilled. All right, we're at this part again. <laughs> We're at this part a second time. Fantastic. Story missions are cool in three hopes. Three hopes to do more than route the map. I don't remember too much of it. I just remember I was I did maddening mode, and then I realized it was just new game plus. And then I tried maddening mode on a fresh save, and like the first couple maps were really hard because you died really like quickly, and then afterwards. Uh, all you had to do was just get like a basic C tier weapon or something and then you were pretty much overpowered again and then you just started power leveling and then I was like, oh man, <laughs> I was hoping the new game thing would be like a big challenge, but wasn't. Unfortunate. We'll just pass here. You know you have to pay Anna her $500 back and only the first one was free. <laughs> a good point. Don't worry about me. All right, I won't. <laughs> Don't worry about me. Don't worry, Lapis. We won't worry about you. We have other things to worry about, like setting up our inventories correctly. So we'll grab Elfire. Cool. Wait, and then what else do we get? Silver dagger. We'll go get her silver dagger. And then we got a Draco shield. That'll be saved. I'll probably just three times Draco shield Tamara, and that's it for her. And then Kagetsu, I'll probably one times E drop again. Chloe, I might one times E drop. I might two times E drop Chloe. I don't know. I still get her stats. We'll have to see. She has all these <laughs> bolts on her. All right, this is just better. I like how Steel Dagger is just way better. There's no downside at all to using it. It's actually you can only use it on Veil. That's true. That's how they should have balanced Anna. Give her a deployment fee. With her current passive proc rate, though, it only really pay off. If she had a deployment fee, that would be kind of rough. I had someone tell me Citrine was better than Anna. Uh, not in, and not in a fast play context either, just like in general. Like overall. You paid her more back since she used up a master. <laughs> yeah. That's right. She owes us now for life. She's our master seal. So we want to have him. He's going to help. He's going to be the, the damage difference that kills the armor on this side, so we don't mess this push up. Uh, she can kill on this side. That's totally fine. Oh, let's wait for John. John. Let's wait for Jean to heal. Jean Valjean. We'll heal Jean, why not? There you go. You little dork. <laughs> you little dork. Citrine more magic equals good. That's right. And she's rich. That's what people always are like, oh, she's rich or something. It's like, 
Or personality wise? Like she's a nobility or something? I don't know. Lapis will just watch in horror <laughs> as she witnesses the devastation. Wait, who? Who? What's the? De who's the devastation unit? Or they're like, sorry. Oh, yeah, it's Gold Mary. She's like, sorry for the devastation. Citrina's cousin to Alcris in DML. Yeah, she's their cousin. She gets in there. Okay, we're almost in position. Personally prefer Jean as a training project with both. Training both isn't that difficult. I never found Anna hard to raise, honestly. The only time I did was my first maddening run, and it's because I didn't really try very hard. But since then, I feel like it's not even an issue for her. Because Jean has to level up ten times, or like nine times, she just has to level up five. And even then, she's still like usable. I don't know. I never felt like she was ever bad. Okay, we have the archer. Who's a five move? That can go in after. Oh, wait, you are. Oh, but we need you. I was gonna trade her javelin. Your first maddening run was rough. Yeah, it can be. It can be crazy. I think my first attempt of chapter twenty-six was crazy. He also wants to be reclassed before leveling up. That's a pretty big situation. If we're being honest. You had Etia on Lin. Was she on Warrior and did her performance skyrocket? These are the two questions I have for you. <laughs> performance skyrocket question mark? Warrior question mark? Best unit in the game? Exclamation point. <laughs> Uh, let's see, Anna shoots. No, we don't <laughs> no, no shopper. She's bad, but I don't play like that. Shut up, shut up. Wait, who? What? Hold on. As a sniper? Dang, dude, we're just sitting on crits right now. How do people actually take Lin off a top two unit and put it on a stereotypically crappy archer? <laughs> I just left Lin on Ivy because I was like, Ivy's kind of good. <laughs> just leave Lin on her, whatever. It worked out. It does kind of change your perception of her, though. Wow, dude, we're sitting on every crit in the game right now. What is happening? Another kill for me. We have all the crits. We are now all crits. All right, we're doing okay. We're doing all right, all right? Oh, we can L fire. Nice. Even better. Fantastic. <laughs> no window shoppers. She's so obnoxious. All flowers eventually wilt. I think I need to get like 10 hours of sleep a night. <laughs> How much like I exert myself. Later. All right, good job, Alchrist. Very cool. And then these guys. <laughs> because emblem with bow skills should be on archer unit. <laughs> yeah, but what if <laughs> I'd like to buy a new window? <laughs> good point. Rude. Add Ivy with Byleth though, getting that plus five res. Hell yeah. Plus five res, baby. 
Let's do... Where's my Yunaka? There we go. There she is. All right, don't you knock it. <laughs> All right, four damage plus poison. The funny LTC sniper Citrine is best Astro Stormer. <laughs> That's all you care about. That's true. She is really good at that one thing. <laughs> oh, come on, Boosh. Don't get doubled, man. Don't do yourself dirty like that. You're gonna get doubled. Look, Lapis doesn't get doubled. Okay, maybe she does. <laughs> the best Lin user is Chloe, Chloe for the 40 speed general. Hell yeah. Now what else do we want to do? We want to get the backups going. Let's do an Anna. Alright, Anna can tank both. I had both on IV2 because I wanted to fly her with Goddess Dance. I don't remember who my Byleth was. It was someone. Someone who did something, I don't know. Go, Boosh! Oh, buddy, you gotta kill him, man. He dies <laughs> to all of it. I don't think you can, but can you chain attack and attack me? <laughs> Here, Fram. Oh, I should've put her on steel, dude. She would destroy that dude. On steel art. We'll do this. We'll have a Leer last hit. Chloe, go for big damage. Oh! You got this, right? Yeah. Yeah, you got this. Is it go time? Maybe we don't have this. <laughs> this is a lot. Will this move her though? Oh, we have all Christ. Okay, we're fine. Yeah, we have all Christ. Yeah, that should be good. Fram doing damage. I dropped Kagetsu and used Lapis with Ike. That's awesome. Lapis Ike. She probably had the biggest great Aether we've ever seen. Can you not die next to Alir? 19 times 2. Dang, Boucheron. What's going on with you, man? This is crazy. Alright, let's just set him up with that. Oh, we don't have it, do we? I probably did if I would have moved him in earlier. I was waiting for the opportunity for him, though. Maybe he has it right here. Maybe he does it this. He does it this way. Yeah, take off a health bar. We're gonna feed Boucher on a health bar. Is it over? Virgin mid Getsu versus the Chad Lapis. That's right. Okay, and then you. Yeah, we have it now. I'll take this. Wow. Then this. Oh, we don't have the passive. This is why I like male Alir. Because, like, usually you have females. Alright, we still have the kill. That's fine. Alright, Horde is down. We're back to where we were. <laughs> Freeze, cool. And it. <laughs> oh, wait, does he die to this? I didn't even check. I can I kill him next turn? He has to pick his bow up, though. I feel like that should take an action. They kick a bow out of your hand. If a kid karate chop kicks a bow out of your hand, you should have to pick it up. F E males. <laughs> That's good. That's a good one. He does tank it. Good. Getsu was immediately worse than all the units I invested in, so I just didn't care about him. I already got Anna and John online. Nice. It's pretty based. All right, let's set this up. Fight! Punch the bow out of their hand again. Easy. Her hand. For the divine dragon. Easy. 
Uh, what else? The ah, oh, he's on a tile. <laughs> he's on a tile. Just a scratch. All right, go, Yunaka, hit him. I don't use Kagetsu because he's a pre-promote and those steal all of your XP SMA. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, don't use pre-promotes. It's the last. That's the last thing you want. We're gonna surround this archer and just keep attacking him until he dies. With low hit rates, I suppose it was stupid to try to compare new joins to Jean and Anna as they got past the rough start. It's interesting that's the experience you had with Kagetsu, because that's a, that was actually kind of my experience too, where it's like I already have all these hard carries with passives and stuff, and so like, why do I care about this guy? <laughs> that's actually what I was thinking. You have to like decide to run units in this game. And then if you don't, you won't. Okay, and then we're gonna do all the healing business. And it's not really much different. But killing this guy is gonna be difficult still. We do have killer axe on Anna though. That's something I didn't consider. What's her speed on it? What's your build? Eight? I think it's nine weight, isn't it? Just a scratch. Uh, if only she doubled with Killer Axe. I think he's 11 speed. He's 10. Okay. Depends on the weight of it. If it's if she can double on Killer Axe and crit him twice, that could be huge. Even just the damage could be big. Let's check it out. No, oh, it's 12 weight. Oh my goodness. I don't want to double it on that, man. We could get a crit though. We could. You never know. You never know. <laughs> I'll protect you. Coping for crits. Uh, even Chloe and Louis would be better short term than Kagetsu. Oh yeah, there's a mass, there's a crit thing on uh, Chloe I could be using. I guess people want to be right or something <laughs> or something. It's sort of a power trip. Getsu does come with decent SP. I think it's like 1k. I want to say it's 1k. 1 or 1.2. I don't think it's 1.5. I think the Tamara squad is 1.5. It might be 1 though. <laughs> I love trips. Alright, let's start healing. I'll do my best. Alright, John, you're up, buddy. Heal every last one of them. Veil vale comes with best SP, 2.5k. She's endgame only, though. If she didn't, it would be terrible. It is a lot. It's sword power 2 and speed plus 3 <laughs> for her love and sword build. Quit tripping. I know, I need to stop. Funny thing is, eventually, I started deploying Zalkov my first Madding run to support Louis' accuracy. Oh, for like his supports or something? Like he gives him accuracy? Or what does that even do? Does he give like hit plus 10 or 20 or whatever? Alright, John, you almost have everyone healed. Level seven, great. <laughs> Not good, guess I have to study harder. Here goes. Yo. All right. You got max accuracy support. Oh, okay, that's cool. Anytime. Here I go. Whatever you need. Now, do we want to do this legit? 
much rewarp do I get? Because I kind of need that for chapter 25. <laughs> so I'd rather do it legit. Let me look at these guys. Then this guy. Okay, how do I go out? How do I zoom further out? Oh, it's on the map. I see. He also hits that time. Now, I could obstruct him and double aggro and kill both of these. Maybe. How many pulses? Eight. All right. We're, I mean, we, we can easily get to this position, so it's not like this is a hard problem to solve. <laughs> Warp memes. No, I have to save it. I, I probably need it for chapter 25. A very difficult chapter. Even with knowledge of how to beat it, it's still really hard. <laughs> Still a very challenging chapter. Are you sailing with Bulg and Silver Sword on her Redem class? Yeah, she gets doubled by everything. She has low build. With how big her dress is, though, you'd think she would have build to spare, because she has all that room. You know what I'm saying? To put weapons, really. All right, we'll do pass. All right, let me figure out how to kill this freaking chicken, this guy. I could triple chain guard. Or triple chain guard. Double chain guard. I'm fine with wasting obstruct if I can chain guard. I need to get to this tile. Oh, actually, if I go here and then obstruct here, I should get attacked on either side and then he attacks. Let's just be more smarter. <laughs> Oh, let me go get some pizza too. I need to eat food. Keep running out of energy. Brand new Pizzoli. Let me move this thing forward. These guys set up. Alright, so we got a breakthrough. Pre well was wild. Oh, yeah, it was. Pre well was pretty crazy. There are some people who still don't use the well just because they don't like it, which I don't blame them. It's kind of dumb. It's, it's like an overcorrection, I would say. You know, it's kind of nice Saline can warp and use Loving Sword in her personal class. It'd be nicer if the stats were good. It basically has flexibility. The problem it has is it has flexibility, but it lacks effectiveness. So it's like a generalist. It's like the ultimate generalist class. But it's not the ultimate chicken. <laughs> that would be Chloe. She's the ultimate chicken. Now who has we have to chain guard. Oh wait, we don't have to we don't have to obstruct with this uh, push here. Okay, let's get this set up. Now, does she double those on Javelin? Oh, Jesus Christ, she's so fast. Yeah, she does. Wow. All right, I'm actually impressed by that. Okay. Uh, you... Oh, why are you up here, Saline? Get out of here. Meet the Chain Guarders. You can make Pandreo a Flying Generalist with better stats. Sure. He doesn't have a team supporting passive, though. I mean, her, this, like, the idea behind this is that it's, like, the ultimate generalist. Not that it is functionally, though. Like, there's definitely better units that... These games all have this issue where it's, like, they just give a thing really high stats. And it's, like, it's just, it just defaults to becoming the best thing because it just has high stats. 
And instead, there like things should have different mechanics. So then you can't just be like, oh, it just has the best stats. And for it's just how it is. Like the things with the better stats are better. King Hyacinth will be able to fire arrows from a great distance. So like you can't really do anything about it. So like yeah, I mean I agree. Pandora is basically just better. If she has like if if the game was more balanced, there could be trade offs, which would be interesting. But that's not the game we got. Oh, you know what? I actually do need to use, um... Oh, can I get in far enough? Shit, I don't think I can. For this play. Yeah, I can't get in far enough. Damn. These things are too... I can pass a turn. Can I do it? Alright, let's try this. She'll open with a kill, too. Or maybe I just let him come to me. Yeah. But then how do we get them chain guarding her? Or is it the distance? <laughs> yeah, I can't get them to do what I want. Damn. Mmm, she doesn't even kill anyways. Well, that's good. Okay. I mean, I guess I can enemy phase these. Trade cats, all right. <laughs> we'll try this. I really should use this chain guard on Anna for the axe. That should get broken. No, what about Elsurge? Oh, the double. All right, we'll try this. If we get him close, we should be fine. She kills the javelin. Oh good, he hasn't moved yet. This is better. Now we can actually kill him. Hmm, <laughs> 28 damage. She could, well, <laughs> do I wanna risk her dodging though? I keep telling myself she could dodge and it's like, theoretically, she could dodge, but really will she? Will she dodge? Let's start this. Going. All right, King Moirin. Start the poison. You tank? Good. Let's give us some poison. Oh, could Anna have been on the thing this whole time? Yeah, probably. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let's use our brains a little bit. <laughs> Let's at least use it at 20%. There we go. Reading Edelgard's emblem is pretty broken. <laughs> he doesn't like that. King Morian, you said you wanted to duel when you made it back to the castle. I wish we could have crossed the swords now. Graffiti you! Oh. Oh. That's better. Free eight damage. First one, free! Go boosh! You can do it. What the heck? <laughs> Go 
Lapis. You will die, my friend. <laughs> no, she dies. Alright. Figure out what I want to do here. Maybe a thunder? Oh wait, she can use L Surge. How much damage is that? 14? Okay, but that's less damage than all the chain attacks, isn't it? I want Lapis to attack, but I probably should have just moved her next to him this whole time for scaling damage. I think that's just better value. I'll just stick her next to him. She could dodge, though. Maybe she dodges. Who knows? Maybe we get lucky. I'm definitely not getting lucky. <laughs> Alright, Lapis, just stand next to her. <laughs> Don't get immediately killed in a hilarious fashion. Yeah, that is not ideal. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, I know. We are really not dealing much damage here. This guy is so stubborn to kill. He just doesn't want to die. Yeah! Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> the Lapish is crying and there's Tamara laughing. I don't know why that's really funny to me. Alright. Who's over here? Okay, thank god. We're gonna lose Boucheron. But you know what? Who cares? <laughs> How's that for an argument? Nah. <laughs> you know what? It doesn't matter. It's fine. You can dodge. He's got this nice one. <laughs> he can dodge a 98 times two. <laughs> Alright, we gotta be mindful of these bad boys. We just have to eat the Astra. <laughs> eat the Astra, that sounds so bad, dude. Don't. <laughs> Alright, don't eat. <laughs> So stupid though. Boosh! I won't get lost on the way to heaven. Go, Anna, do your thing. Do a karate chop. Yes, Alir does things. I'll probably promote Alir. Dang, dude, look at Alcris! Deeps! I have no choice but to win. Deeps, deeps, deeps. Deeps. <laughs> deeps, deeps, deeps. Alright, this is much better. 
This is actually, I think, my favorite run of this game. Look at the difference of positioning made. Tell me, we easily killed the guy versus before I kept eating, getting hit on Ashcrow, dying stupidly. Is that a Oh. Oh I had auto advance off. Am I not generous? You can show your gratitude by dying. You just hopped on and see a promoted Alcarist. Yep. He's actually really good in this run. And I mean, in normal play, he's fine. It's just a normal play. Everything is like, oh, dude, I have a freaking Perrier right now. Listen to this shit. Later. <laughs> we opened it right. I made him commit Sudoku. I need a one-handed controller so I can drink. Drink a drink while playing the game. It's very important for me <laughs> to be able to do that. One-handed controller. Oh, wait. A. 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 There we go. Alright, ASMR. It's probably negative ASMR. <laughs> Things you don't want to hear someone burping. ICG with a fear need fear nay discrimination. Soon Slay Lean will be on the chopping block. <laughs> Slay Lean. Slay Lean during Operation Teacup. <laughs> Dude, you guys love that, you know? I know you do. Here, fight this guy. You got this. You double him? Oh, you're too slow! You knock him. Maybe if you opened your second eye, you'd be fast enough to hit him. You're always winking all the time. Just read through the rule set. Uh, why don't I do any degen grinding this time? It's to make the run harder and less oriented around super units. Oh, that's nasty, Peter. Peter! What's a horse? <laughs> What's a horse? Hmm. Now, what do we want to do here? You got it! You got it! What does this guy do? Alright, 16 speed. Alright. 16 speed. He's not super fast, he does have a bow. He does have a bow. We don't want a bow. We don't want to deal with a bow, really. What do we want to deal with? You knock a thief that can't double, doesn't have anything. <laughs> Rita! She dodged an 80, though. That's cool. Uh, I want to say you tank him. Yeah, tall 26 times 2. Holy shit. <laughs> Wait, does he kill us with the stupid Silver Spirit? 26 times 2 is definitely a kill on her, isn't it? That's, yeah, it's 40 damage with the defense factored in. Holy shit. <laughs> She's like one of my tankier units. 26 times 2 against him, however. He tanks it with 1 HP, but he has these, so... I could probably kite him. I'll kite him and peel off the things and dive him afterwards. I think that's the way to go. Let's try that. Uh, so let's move. Uh, Alright, you kill this one. You chain yard. You kill this one. Struck the center. Why are both of the natural thieves slow? I don't know. I, feel, I still think you should use Panette. Yetsu has less crit than her, and her hit rate can be fixed to supports. Um... Hmm. Maybe. Maybe. Who do- alright, so who do I build supports with? Let's create an action plan. Uh, 
Alright, we should enemy phase both of them. Building supports in this run is also difficult, too. Especially for late joiners. I mean, she joins midway through, but it's still not easy. Oh, we didn't kill him. At least he's chain guarding. I had to ace the poor. <laughs> Alright. Oh, he's at one range on bow. That is very convenient, actually. <laughs> Dude, I don't want to smash him because then we'll go far away. Hmm. Uh, where are my backups, first of all? Get Anna. Oh, yeah, Boosh died. <laughs> oh, man. What about a crit? <laughs> oh, come on, Anna. All right, let's go here. Alir will just damage boost some people. Give me a crit, dude. Give me a big, uh, big old crit. <laughs> Oh. Mm, some bosses are. He's not. I don't think he is. Mm. This one's very tanky. <laughs> mm. Where's Fram? Oh, here's Fram. Now, if he attacks Fram at two range, that's a problem. We do have Freeze. And we have Obstruct. <laughs> I want to smash Hyacinth. <laughs> I definitely don't. <laughs> <laughs> There's a raptor noise for you. <laughs> Dude, how do we kill this guy? He's super tanky. We can probably take off a health bar. Hmm. How many pulses do I have? First, let's see if we can find it with this janky setup. So let's do an attack. Just try to chain. We have two chains on him now. No poison, though. Which I would prefer the poison. Steel bow's a little bit less damage. If she could get a crit, if I can find a crit, that would be massive. Let's not do longbow. Let's do steel bow. Alright. It is more damage. <laughs> he breaks her four. Um, okay. We have. What's the damage? Zero? Alright, so she might as well thunder. Panaki can build supports with Lawyer, Ivy, Gold, Mary, Tamara, Marin, Andreo, Saphir. She doesn't have Yunako. Interesting. We do. I don't even think we. We do have a health bar. Seems like Freeze is the way to go here. I might be able to pull away further, though. I don't know. go back. Alright. Let's see what we're dealing with. I don't want to waste Freeze, because Freeze is hard to get. What are, oh, what are his hit rates even? Can I waste his turns like Yunaka and a thing? He does have those chain attacks, though, which is like a guaranteed 40% of a health bar. Well, near guaranteed. Not really guaranteed, but... I don't care if I waste Obstruct. Alir and Marin give hit plus 10 and rank A. Anna gives 20 hit, 5 avoid. There's an Anna. There's an Anna Panette support? Is that real? It almost sounds like you're lying. I've never heard. Oh, I chain guard. <laughs> How dare he? <laughs> you trying to chain guard me right now, dude? 
Tamara gives 10 hits. Six crit. Tamara's a good support, dude. She gives six crits. Jesus Christ. She's a crit archetype? Because most give 10 hit. No, I know. I'm just messing around with you. I just didn't know she had a sport with her. I had no choice but to win. We might run Panette. She does have the crits. I might just have to be better at um, positioning near supports. Uh, <laughs> okay, so if I... Hold on. Three, four, five... Ooh. <laughs> ooh, that's a problem. Uh, well, let's look at the, da the damage here. Okay, she tanks that. Saphir gives 10 crits, 10 hit. Tamara is a bad unit archetype, Reddit told me so. True. I'm sure they did. How do we, like, not die, though? <laughs> There's no way she tanks Killer Bow. Yeah. Oh, wait. Can you... <laughs> can you tank it? Or can you tank the two range for me? She'll die, though. She for sure will die. Damn. I should have used the thing closer. Screw it, we're freezing him. <laughs> we'll try to freeze him once. What's the saying? Freeze me once, shame on me. Freeze me twice. That's how it's gonna be, something like that. Pretty sure that's the saying. I'm pretty good with sayings. 62, you can got this. Oh, the definition of does not got this. <laughs> That is the definition. Let's go back to attacking. Here, let's try here. The definition of not having it. Freezing him solves it. Just gonna freeze this idiot. <laughs> Just freeze him. Stop moving. Thank you. All I ask of you is to stop moving. Give me a crit. Give me a big old crit. <clears throat> Who gives her hit 20 in the team I'm going to be using, though? If no one gives her hit 20, it's going to be rough to hit Fixer. I'll apologize later. So, like, what are her best... Realistically, though, what are her best options for what's actually going to be next to her? You know what I'm saying? I think you know what I'm saying. Alright, some poison on that. We're DPSing it down. She doesn't have damage on him, so no point. Alright, you go there. Gold Mary's hit 20. Okay. Hmm. I feel like Gold Mary is like almost good in this run. His hit 15. Ah, oh. <laughs> Hit 15! <laughs> Do we have the setup? He's on bow. Yes, sir. Alright, two damage. Take that. Let me go for poison. Do you tank this? Give us poison. Please. She can give hit 15 from Goldmare and Pandreo and Ivy. Ivy, I would say, is run. Uh, Pandreo. Weirdly, I don't like him in this run. And I'm not just being, like, dumb. Like, I actually don't like him as much in this run. I like him in other runs, but not in this one. Uh, can you give me a crit, please? Just do it. Oh, <laughs> just crit him. <laughs> do it. Uh, okay, she didn't do it. Awkward. Here we go. Big iron blade. We're so screwed here, dude. We don't have enough damage. We have two assists, or two chains, plus a poison stack. We just don't have the damage, though, really. Realistically. Now, let me do this. Convoy. Try to be sneaky. We might have it with that. That might be the saving grace. <laughs> you got this. Don't get crit. It's a 9%. Good. Dodge a 9% crit. I believe in you. We have this. 
Slightly. What does Jean do? Well, if Jean, Jean can't attack. She doesn't double, right? What's he on? He's fast as hell. Oh, she does double on Iron Lands. Interesting. For how much? Eh, 12 damage. Right. Yeah, 12 damage. Not really the best, but... <laughs> I'm pretty sure we don't have it again. I might have to freeze him a second time and harass him. So Fear and Tamara each give her crit 10. Timbers also boost her crit by 6. Yeah, Tamara is a very good unit in this run. It's She's undeniably one of the best units in this run. Which is kind of cool. Same thing with, like, Anna and Horde. Like, Horde is just so valuable. You're doing so many things with staffs that conserving them and accurately... Oh, even if she crits, it's not damage. Oh, no. Yeah, no one crit. Anna didn't crit. She didn't crit. I don't know who he's gonna kill. Let's see who he kills. If I don't care, if it's like Lapis, he might kill Anna, though. Kill Anna, don't kill Anna. He killed Anna, <laughs> of course. <laughs> he's like, this is one of the hard carries of the run. I can't let her live. Are you kidding me? <laughs> you serious right now, dude? Alright, let's see. Back to here. We're gonna have to freeze him again. You can get Panette to like 50 plus hit from support. Um, realistically though, when your units are split apart and you're holding positions and dynamically attacking things, she's probably gonna at best get like one, maybe two supports. Uh, so like a lot of the end game maps, she'll maybe get like one to two supports. So you have to assume that. This isn't a run where you can like slow push. You have to be pretty aggressive almost all the time. And the only time you can get away with not being aggressive is on maps where there's um, time. But usually there's not. Freeze. Awesome. Alright, he's frozen. Alright, you will kill... Maybe. I need to start damaging him. I need to set this up. She can't tank him, right? No, she can't tank him. Uh, can you tank him? His bow attack? 17. <laughs> 17 plus all the chains. She's dead. They're all the way up there, too. I feel like there should be a range. They should have to be within five tiles. I don't know. That's just personally. Just It doesn't seem to make sense that these are chain attacking from across the map. Like, the logic behind it is weird. <laughs> it's like, I don't buy it. Seems weird. Uh, Alright, we three range him. Starting with Anna. Oh, we do have to kill this guy, though. This guy's to die. You won. Clorax. Kill this guy. It's gonna keep physicking him. If you keep her paired with Tamara and Marin, it's plus 20 hit, plus 9 crit. Hmm. Realistically, though, I would have her be with, like, a chain guarder. Does she have Fram or Jean support or, or Seedol? Because those are all significantly better for what I would need from her. Can you kill this guy? Hell yes. Get rid of this thing. No healing. It is forbidden. Healing is forbidden. 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 <laughs> forbidden. Go chip damage. Everyone do it. Do the chips. Everyone does chip damage. We need to kill this guy. He's ridiculously tanky. <laughs> He's unnecessarily tanky. Alright, next turn we have to kill him. I could freeze him again, but I, sh I really shouldn't be wasting that. <laughs> Those are very valuable items. Okay. Let's start with her. And she does not... If she does, well... What else could we start with? We could do Point Blank Yunaka. I want a Leer to attack, though. Point Blank Yunaka... Is Poison better damage than a Leer attacking? Probably not. Well, now it actually is. It is. It's six damage. He's gonna be attacking more than six times. One, two... Actually, these can attack, too. The Poison will actually be big value. Alright, you go here. 
Uh, you poison. Mmm, <laughs> chips. So, like, her being with Marin, Marin is going to be darting around the map attacking things. Tamara, she's going to be holding positions and bouncing. She could pair with Tamara. That's actually something I could see. So Tamara can give her hit 10 and 6 crit, which is huge value. I could see that being a realistic use case. She would need to pair with something that can take heat off of her or help her be defended. So we could have like a two chain guard squad or three chain guard squad. I actually might rely on chain guards more. But one of the issues is then you lose damage. So it's like you gain tanking, but then you lose damage. Which you need that, so <laughs> you need damage badly in this run. Uh, who else? Fram. Oh, Fram can't wrap around. She can do this, though. She can deal some chip. Alcris has chip. She has big damage. What about Anna? Hold on, let's see. Okay, she has a health bar here. Hmm. Let's make sure we have this. I don't think we do, even. It's, like, pretty crazy. It's not even, like, an issue of hitting him. <laughs> it's, like, an issue of just the, the, the amount of damage. Boucheron is a potato. The best he does is become shit. <laughs> That's such a solid joke, actually. <laughs> okay, let's do this. Health bar. You made me a fan. All right, Fram levels up. She's very excited. Hey, what gives? All Christ goes for a steel attack. Bring him at 36. From me to you. This should oh do my. It. Oh, we don't have a male next to. Uh, hold on. Pin. Damn, we have like no males. <laughs> These are all females. Doesn't give Chloe her passive. 14. Either way, it's 14 damage. This is a higher chance to crit. I mean, this is almost... I think we have it. Maybe. Yeah, maybe at, like, two range. Oh, she is... She needs healed, though. Uh... No, that's not even the kill. We're one damage shy after she does this. Okay. Let's get her back on longbow. Anna could go for a crit. Just give me a crit. Just do it. Oh, come on. <laughs> come on, video game. Come on, Anna Gaming, what are you doing? It's not the crit that we asked for. <laughs> oh, no. I'll be careful here. I don't want to lose this. It's pretty stupid to lose at this point in time. We know we're not sitting on a crit. Actually, maybe we don't, because she's one of the chain assists. So after two attacks, we could be sitting on a crit. Because it's slightly different... Uh, Slightly different RNG. Only she doubled with the crits. Just crit him. It's 31%. Oh, 21 damage. We don't have killer bow either, right? Oh. Okay. I need to be very careful here. I might actually undo this and freeze him again. <laughs> we just don't have damage, man. It's so rough. I think we have to freeze him a third time. It's either that, or I try to rig crits, which is risky as hell. I'll just freeze him again. He just has so much health and durability. He's, like, I don't like these some of these early bosses. They're just needlessly tanky. They're not challenging, necessarily. They just tank you. Just kind of, uh, they're like troll bosses. All right, let's get damage on them. <laughs> you made up. <a> <laughs> Here we go. Eh, 
There we go. More damage. Ah, we can kill him. Next turn. We definitely have it now. I don't think we need the poison either. It sucks you can't even deal damage to him. I feel like there should be minimum damage of one. It's so stupid how things hit, can hit zeros. Okay, so... I poison. It's basically the same damage. Kind of. One, two, three, four... Five, six attacks. That's plus six damage. And what does Alir do? <laughs> okay. And either way, she's attacking, right? I think the poison is actually less damage. I think we're better off doing something like this. Yeah. Get the chain set up. First. And then just start whacking the crap out of them. Yeah. Get the chain set up first, just keep whacking him. If she can tank, she can poison here. Okay, that's fine. As long as she doesn't get crit. Okay, good. That's better. That's way more damage. Yeah, he's easily killed now. Especially with the poison. Okay. We need a male next to female. Let's do this. First one, three, me too. The ting damage is too funny. What is the ting damage? Oh, she doesn't get passive. <laughs> There's not enough males. Got this. Get this. <laughs> oh, we'll go. <laughs> that hit sound. That was kind of wild. Hit. Hit him. Hit him. <laughs> Alright, 7 HP. Surely we have this. A oh, sound of metal hitting would do zero damage. Yeah. First one, three. Not done yet. I cannot accept this. We did it. He's dead. Please, no more, no more. All right. All it costs us is Boucheron. It's a fair price. All right, we get the Master Seal. Oh yeah. 40 turns. <laughs> Mostly for setting up the horde dive, to be honest. And then the gate break. We've won. Get away. And now I avenge my father. <gasps> oh no. Yeah. <sighs> It's you, the one who killed my mother. Oh, thank you, thank you. I thought I was finished there. I'm not being merciful, merely pragmatic. The ritual was a success. The merely pragmatic. He can move Bail, once such again. A dick. That means the sacrifice worked. <sighs> Here he comes. All right, it's a cutscene, so it's time to clip. The Psalm Bronze put my fingernails. <laughs> Lord Sombron. Definitely getting too long. Very important. It seems my powers have returned. Dang, Sombron's an HD, dude. Holy shit. <laughs> it was an honor, my lord. And yet, I still hunger for more. Please, my lord, devour these fools. <laughs> Alas. I have a different meal in mind. Different meal? Huh? Only sovereign blood will quell my hunger. You understand? Uh -oh. I want your blood. 
ASMR clipping. Yeah, I can mute it while I do this. Huh? kill the dudes that help them. These things never make any sense. They're like, ah, you've revived me. Yes, my lord. And then they always kill the guy that revived them for some reason. Like they have to. Like they can't be like, oh, thanks, man. I thought he and the fell dragon were on the same side. <laughs> now that was entertaining. What? Evil. <laughs> Did you see his face? The shock? The betrayal? Alright, we're back to ASMR club here. Stop it's over, over. What's wrong with you? <laughs> Is that... Fail? You irritating girl. <laughs> ah! You had to go and ruin my fun. This is why I detest humans. No, it can't be, but that's the bandage I used to dress her wound. That's the bandage. I should be <laughs> there. I am Sombron's daughter, the Fell Princess. You may call me Vale. Pleased to make your acquaintance. Vale. What? How could you deceive us like. Deceive you? We've never even spoken before. What? Enough idle chat. <laughs> what? All right, there's a Wooga Veil. All right, then there's the hounds. Well, well, well. I like how derpy Marnie looks. She's just like an idiot <laughs> walking all funny. Being a complete d dingus. <laughs> dingus. Dungus. Among us. <laughs> dingus. Uh, all the infant reinforcement maps, they could afford to eat Hyacinth, I guess. <laughs> yeah, but then how does he come back, though? That's the thing that confuses me. He just, like, kind of reappears. All right, Awoogalier. Hmm. Yeah, all right. We'll do it. <laughs> Zephyr. I can sense new power. Well, at least the whole gang is here. Evil nerfed so Hort can pull down her hood. Wait, what? <laughs> she was nerfed? Or she she did nerf? You know what I didn't buy? That I probably should have? What's the speed difference? Dang, dude, there's still a substantial speed difference between steel and iron. Unfortunate. I didn't buy a recover or restore. <laughs> the to heal freeze. But we have Yunaka, so we're fine. This is a standard tactic here. Yeah, there we go. Don't you knock it until you try it. They use the veil is really good at making corrupted excuse to bring back his model. <laughs> She's really good at making corrupted. See, I don't buy that. I don't think she is. All right. Go seven damage. Yunaka must live. Go ahead. <laughs> She'll live, just, you know, if they don't hit her. Yes. Yes. See, Alchrist agrees. Five out of ten Alchrists agree. Here I go. Here I go. Here you go. Here you go. How can Horde even approach Evale at this point? She gets one shot. <laughs> True, she doesn't get one shot. Yes. Go, Slaylene. Slaylene! 
Veil had mercy equipped. <laughs> is there a point to mercy, or is it just to troll the player? I had no choice but to win. There's a ring. Now's our chance. I think not. <laughs> Damn. You got this, Jean. You don't die here. It's fine. I'm prepared. Is the point of it's mercy to make the game harder? <laughs> it's the only thing I could think. Would be the reason. Let's see how Yunaka does. Yunaka in a tree is pretty good. It's arguably the best thing to do on this map. Yeah, look at this. <laughs> this is the thing. <laughs> Alessina has Mercy perpetually equipped in Tellius. Is it because she doesn't like killing? Oh, and she dodges the freezes too. Just that gives us enough space. I think Bale has created corrupted Hyacinth, Lumer, and Alir, which is why they look the same. I see. Look at Lapis with her iron sword. Iron sword. Yeah. Oh, look at this, dude. Slaylene. You challenge Slaylene to combat. <laughs> I think not. You're a fool to challenge those who slay in the dark. And those who lean in the dark as well. Have you defeated the four hands in this map? Um, no, I never really made broken enough builds to do that. I know how to, though, but I just don't want to. I just don't want to. I see no reason. Eh, do you have backup in case we miss that? Eh, yeah, we'll go for it. We'll go for a bad move here. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> oh, double dodge. Double dodge, double dang. Dodge, a dab will do you, and a dodge will do you too. Hit! Hit! Crit. Oh my god, quad dodge. Wow, missing coin. Imagine flipping coins, <laughs> and then all of them are tails. <laughs> Four in a row. That's believable. I have to look up the odds. Every time that happens, I have to immediately look up the odds. Odds of heads four times in a row. Oh, okay, one out of 16. That can happen then, I guess. I think five times is when it starts to get to like insane numbers. It starts to get to funny numbers, if you will. Now Chloe is dead because of the archer. Tough, you know. I guess one in 16 is fine. It can happen. Four damage, really. Interesting. <laughs> Stupid arm shield is really that good. All right, or Lear is just truly that weak. It's one of the two. Really, damn, dude. Okay, if she had this. She could kill. Oh, all right, get a crit. <laughs> we have to restart. Arm sh or the dodging on the archer. He crits me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I needed the crit. They stole my ID. <laughs> I'm suing them. How dare they? Hoo ha! <laughs> Just randomly yell hoo ha. For no reason at all. For unknown reasons, really. All right, are the people? All right, they're not. Let's say the people happy that I made a, a, a unicorn overlord video, and then it turns out that they seem to be indifferent towards it. Yeah, largely just indifferent. All right, I'm done with that game. <laughs> Iron Man's dead. 
<laughs> Awuga L. How's it going, predetermined? Tornado. Here goes. Oh, you can't even hear me. I was going like, oh. <laughs> you couldn't even hear it. It was noise gated. The noise gate is nice, though. So you don't hear like stupid little sounds that don't matter. I'm listening. She's listening. Imagine Alir dying before Chloe. <laughs> do you love <laughs> Alir as much as I do? I'll you. <laughs> uh oh, we have Alir enjoyers in chat. <laughs> Alir enjoyers. <laughs> uh oh. What's going on there? What are you guys? What are you guys thinking? Huh? You got it. My What's going on down there? Sounds kind of crazy. Okay, who last hits this guy? Maybe Anna. Maybe we go for some procs. She's seven luck. She's almost into double digits. She's old enough to do math. Now, all right, what is this game? Hold on. I think not. Saga Emerald Man. Beyond. What is that? <laughs> this actually looks kind of interesting. Saga Emerald Beyond. Turn-based party RPG, JRPG, uh, RPG strategy, turn-based combat, story rich, Square Enix. Um, I was looking at this and it has like a turn order, almost like triangle strategy. And I was looking at other parts of it. It looks like it could be good. It could have something to do with how Slaylene is, though. It comes out in like seven days, too. Your steward's ready. Does anyone know anything about this game? Is it good? Is it going to be good? Is it going to be bad? Is it going to be something? Anytime. I know a Yudin Crump comes out as well, but this I'll game seems best. more interesting. Even though they're basically the same genre. I saw like a screenshot where it looked like a tactics game, so it kind of is appealing. Right, let me look at this trailer and see what it shows. Saga Emerald Beyond. All right, cool. Heroes are guided by their own paths. Emerald Waves. What's it called? Saga Emerald Beyond? <laughs> I don't know, dude. The JRPG. Go the Witch. Oh, it looks like one of those ones where they're like high schoolers that turn into things. But I mean, if it has good gameplay, I don't care. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Hold on, what is this? It kind of looks like a mix of things. It's kind of hard for me to pinpoint what the hell I'm looking at. I'm not sure what I'm looking at. Okay. Brand new content. Is this a remake? What is that? What is it even? Does anyone know anything about this? <laughs> Do we do this? Do we do this again? Do we just go for it? No, I don't think we go for it. That was stupid as hell. Let's not die pointlessly like an idiot again. That was very dumb. I just read a community comment. A community comment? Oh, wait. Oh, the guy trying to get me to do out realms or something. I'll play him in chess if he really wants to play a PvP game. All right. Well, I don't know. I don't have time for it, actually. Do it. <laughs> you don't even get to fight them, though. You just fight their team. Ugh. And that's, like, all he does. And I'm not saying that, like, he's really good or something. It's just, like, that's his whole thing. I looked at his YouTube channel. He just has nothing but out realm shit. So he's just obsessed with Outrealms. <laughs> it's all he like, knows how to do. It's not even the game, though. It's not even, like, making moves. That has nothing to do with, like, the actual mechanics of being good at Fire Emblem. 
at all. It's literally just you fight an AI controlled team and then host an AI controlled team. Yeah, you do need Nintendo Online to do it. It's kind of just, I don't know, I don't like it. It's not actual PvP. It's just not. And also, like, stats are involved, so, like, if you use stat boosters, pretty sure that factors in. This emoji is my favorite thing on YouTube. We can F a Lear emoji. Nice. Uh, I might be able to. We'll see. Part of the issue with these games having PvP is that it's not balanced. <laughs> so it's like, why would you even play a game that's not balanced in PvP? Like, what's the point of it? Please do not get killed. Do not get slain. Good. The Nintendo. It, it always amuses me when people play some competitive thing that like 10 people play and then they're like, why don't you play me in this thing? It's like, because 10 people play it, dude. Who cares? Like, it's not like millions of people play Out Realms. <laughs> no, like, literally no one plays it. Like, maybe less than 100 people play it at best. So what's the point of even getting good at a thing that no one cares about and no one plays? It's just such a, like, wasted effort. Like, why? At least if you got good at chess, that could lead to tournaments. Maybe you get prize money if you get really good. Maybe you could stream it. People actually care about it. There's, like, four, 600 million people that play chess or something ridiculous. So like that, there's potential in, but it's just, it's just dead content, the Outrealm stuff. Literally no, actually let's pull, pull it right here. Does anyone even care within this chat about it? Let's see. Uh, it, do you play FE Engage PvP? I'll, I'll ask if people play it. Not that if they care about it, because for, first we have to see if people even play it, because I'm pretty sure like only a small percentage of people play it. Uh, these kind of, all right, these don't counterattack. Some damage on it. But yeah, it was funny, like someone's getting like a little big ego, like, oh, let me know when you hit 2000 ELO in this like thing that five people play. And it's like, okay. Like, I'm making an indie game, I don't have time for this shit. <laughs> Honestly, I, the the endless supply of people who just want to argue with me all day is getting old, and I would rather just, just like pivot into game development <laughs> at this point. And then, I mean, I can ignore. I obviously usually just ignore them, but people just want to argue all day. It's insane. They just want they want to like trip on their egos. I don't care about post game PvP. I want good single player post game content. I agree because it's a single player game. This is not a PvP game. It never was. It's like a it's a JRPG with strategy mechanics. That's what it fun fundamentally is. I have like five hundred hour engaged, and if you know you could talk you were talking about engaged PvP. Engaged PvP died the moment you used your own units. Not balanced presets. Yeah, because like then your units could have stat boosters, they could have whatever forges because like then people would have what you would do is you would grind out auxiliaries get your units as, like how high of level can you even get to like is there even a limit could you just infinite grind your units on auxiliaries and stuff to get them to a point where they're like level 80 with stat caps like isn't that how it is you have to like get the stat caps fe has never been good at pvp yeah it literally no one has said yes yet <laughs> Uh, out of 15 votes, which is decent. Yeah, like, no one plays it. It's just... And, it, and even if people did, it's still... janky as hell. It's not like chess where my queen is as equal... as good as, good as your queen. It's like, your queen can, has two moves, my queen... Stat caps to the upper limit on units, yes. Yeah, that's stupid. So you have to grind out your dude's, like, stat caps. You have to grind out forges. It, it's just not good. Like, it's just like another MMOE grind quest. It's not good. Infinite grind of stat caps. Yeah, that's tra that's trash. That's just busy work. It's... I hate when games do that. I know I talk a lot of shit sometimes. <laughs> but it's, like, dumb. Like, if you're trying to do a competitive thing, it should be fair, balanced, and simple. It should not be like, oh, you better grind your characters out for 50 hours in post-game, which is not even fun. 
And that's where the true challenge begins. <laughs> it's like, okay, man. You know a PvP game is good when you can grind for advantages. <laughs> Not even based on skill. Just like, oh, I grinded the stat caps, I'm superior. It's junk. It's whatever. They could have, I mean, it seems to be the case with most PvP games from the East. I used to play this game called Continent of the Ninth, and I actually really liked that game. It had really cool characters and classes and really interesting mechanics, but it was super broken and the PvP was pure jank. And if you paid like literal hundreds of dollars to get certain things to attach to your gear, you could use it in PvP and just like kill people in one to two hits, and they would have to hit you like 50 times to kill you, and it was just completely stupid. And it's very much the case with a lot of those like a lot of Eastern RPGs and online Eastern MMOs and stuff where they have like built-in cash shops and pay to win explicitly added in their systems. And the West I think is a little bit better, though it's not much better because we have stuff like WoW where you have to grind for, you know, new sets of armor every release, which is just terrible. So, but I mean, Guild Wars 1 was fine. Guild Wars 2 PvP is kind of balanced. You can get max gear pretty quickly, uh, like re reasonably compared to other MMOs. Guild Wars 1 PvP, very good. Probably the best PvP of most MMOs. Super balanced. Tons of updates for like changing skills and stuff to make the you know make things fair. Uh, but a lot of these games, the PvP is just not there. Same thing with like Unicorn Overlord. It's the exact same problem where if you you like you basically want to do of illusions all of your units, get them the best stuff. Strategy games which allow numbers and inflation. Uh oh, very strategic. <laughs> yeah, because like people, I think a lot of people just get lost in the sauce of these like min maxing things in these games where they're like, oh, you gotta do this and that to min max. And it's like, what happened to just like being good? Really, it should be like, oh, I put an archer in a tree, I do this attack. It should be mostly about the moves. Like, it should, it should be 80% gameplay tactics. 20% min-maxing planning. And right now it's like 90% like uh, min-maxing, 10% gameplay. This playthrough, however, is basically like 90-20 gameplay tactics and then 10% min-maxing. Because there's almost no min-maxing to do. Maybe even 95-5. There's almost no min-maxing to do in this run. There's just like managing supports and... Handing weapons to do. <laughs> That's really it. It's just all moves. So I've like removed the min maxing components, and that's why it's super fun for me. Because <laughs> I feel like Three Houses is not nearly as fun on subsequent playthroughs because of how much grinding is required to just get like a stat increase or whatever for like, you know, oh, you need, you know, Darting Blow to double and uh, Death Blow and Fiendish to kill, and oh, you want to not die or whatever you gotta run some avoid tanking thing or whatever there's all these different things you do all right what are we dealing with here roy and what hearth yeah no one <laughs> i don't know anyone that plays it except for the one guy who challenged me which is a very weird challenge i guess he assumed i played it or something or i don't know how do we kill this hearth okay 12 defense on Steel Lance. Slow, though. What about dive from this? So even like this, like this is like a perfect example of... Oh, I need to start recording stuff, too. I need to start recording because I'm making a long video that has a bunch of little edits in it. Uh, all right. I'm going to cut this... Um, the vo uh, There's not going to be sound here. I'm just doing this for B-roll for footage. This is like a textbook example of like a position. This is... I mean, we have numbers... We can obviously kill most of these. I thought I was watching an engaged stream. No, three houses. Well, that's right. This is three houses. Um, Min maxing went to part ways with your fear navel. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, here I have to, like, figure out how to kill this. Let's see. So, Chloe can dive. So, I actually have to, like, figure it out so i could do this this will give me a huge damage boost so we move a leer for plus three damage plus two more damage from all christ and then we can actually attack from here she almost has the kill i think we can go for a crit maybe 
But even just that, like that was like actual execution of like considering where things are and positioning them and actually doing a thing in gameplay. All right, maybe she crits. And now we're kind of leaning into a 50-50 crit. We got it. So using basic knowledge of probability math, we were able to pull a crit out. Plus Monastery sucks too. You know, I tried replaying three houses and man, I do not like having to keep reclassing. Yeah, it's it's it can be kind of crazy. I think there's too much, too many classes. Way too many classes in that game. All right, then for this guy, he's too fast to double. Uh, so what we could do is start poking with, uh, actually, can you move in? So she can tank him, right? What does he do? He's a leaf. Yeah, he can pull out, he can pull out crit. We don't have the thing yet. Either way, he can pull out crit. All right, we'll take a risk here, kind of. I might chain guard. Oh yeah, we'll chain guard. All right, so we'll do this. We'll send her in. She'll poke next to Alir for damage ramp. And then she puts backup attack on him. This actually feels like how I think the game should be. I think a lot of modern games bloat themselves with too many mechanics, when in reality, you could just have it be just like managing positions and moving things around and setting up attacks properly. properly and that would be more interesting than you know, having broken mechanics that are crazy as hell. <laughs> All right, then Alakris can do the same. He can poke. Leveraging Alir's bonus damage plus Anna's now. And then just using positioning and moves, we're producing a better result than we would have otherwise. My class starting soon, you got a diff. All right, peace radiant. But of course, uh, someone can kill this. So it could be Lapis, it could be Slaylene. So like Lean can go, or an L fire. Oh, she doesn't have fire. All right, maybe Lapis attacks. I'm fine with risking Lapis here because I actually am dropping her after this map. So this would be a tactical sacrifice. She dies. She probably, I think they'll attack her. She's good bait right now. <laughs> She's the master of baiting the enemy team. I can chain guard her though. How's it going, rookie? Shall I treat you to tea later? All right, so a lot of positional stuff, and it was, that whole scenario was just making good moves. <laughs> bad unit. <laughs> hey, bad unit. <laughs> All right, and then we got this. Let's see if we can wrap this up. Give me an order. <laughs> She's just attacking everything. All right, keep try to escape. I guess you're fine. You're fine, Yunaka. You you got this. And this pull. All right. So far, she's surviving. Engage PvP got a 100% no. Yeah, out of 24 votes, too. Well, no, I've, I haven't even heard of anyone playing it. Ah, uh, yes, I love democracy. Oh, we survived! Hell yeah. What do you got? Alright. <laughs> we don't have the pulse back yet, so let's wait until we do that. He's gonna weapons triangle. Yeah, he's gonna master lance. All right, and then we can three range while advancing. Look at how much. Look at how pivotal Alir is. We've done four attacks in sequence. Well, four attacks over two turns so far of just like leveraging Alir's damage plus the support. I feel like this is like the strongest part of engage. These things, Feh. As a gotcha thrives on power creep now, has such convoluted mechanics, you need layers of counter mechanics to beat layers of mechanics, all of which have text the size of Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Yeah, that sounds like a nightmare. And then meanwhile, chess is just a simple game with a high skill ceiling that's just classic and everyone loves it. <laughs> it's just like better. And there's more money and more people play it in it. Like there's so many, there are tons of chess tubers that make like really good money just even at like you know lower skill ranges like in my skill range which would be 
probably like a little bit better than most beginners. Uh, we can dive. We can dive and we can thrive. Here, we'll feed him. We want to get Luna. Uh, so just curious, is this map easier than the last one? You aren't using emblems anyways. It's easier because there's a dumb gimmick where you just throw a thief in a tree. <laughs> And it completely solves the map for you, <laughs> if I'm being honest. That's really why it's easier. Uh, but yeah, it's basically... This and 22 are actually the easiest maps in the run. Because, like, they seem to balance the game around there being emblems, which is fine. It's the big gimmick, right? There's even a chess meme community. Yes, there is. Yeah, the uh, anarchy chess, and they always talk about en passant capture, <laughs> like, every five seconds. They're just obsessed with en passant for some reason. <laughs> I don't even know why. I mean, <laughs> like, it, it, en passant can be useful. I think it's funny because, like, people don't know about it. Maybe that's why. Dude, look at her. She's, like, popping off. She's trying to survive. She's putting stacks of poison on all these enemies, completely holding down the position. <laughs> And then usually she comically dies to a stray hit after killing like almost all of these. Oh, she's surrounded. Oh no, she's not. She's fine. Oh no. Okay, let's let's resolve Yunaka's misfortune first. She'll continue healing. Oops. We got this. Hmm. Don't forget the best opening, the bong clown. <laughs> I've fought people who do stupid stuff like that, and I usually do it in return. Oh, I missed a 62. Waste of XP. Oh, here we go. This could be big here. Maybe not. We do want to defend Anna. Uh, I'm going to actually obstruct here. Just to keep her safe. Now what's attacking? That guy. I think we're like there, right? I'm prepared. Gentleman's bong club. Well, if I notice my opponents doing crazy things, just like how in TF2, if if someone's clearly goofing off, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go try hard on them and try to like demolish them or something. I'll usually reciprocate it, especially if they're like a hoovy, looking up and down really fast, being stupid. It's like, all right, this guy's a friendly. <laughs> Very rarely do friendlies deceive you. Sometimes they do. Oh, what? That guy moves? I've never. Oh, because I attacked him. I actually haven't seen him move before. That's interesting. I think we get pulses now. <laughs> Just missing wars. What is a bong cloud? It's a terrible chess opening where you move your king to the where the queen starts, but you have you move him in the center a few times, then he comes back, and then you have them switch places. Oh, slightly. <laughs> The chain guard. I knew they had a Sigurd coming up on us. Cantered. We need to get this proc. He's <laughs> getting kind of sketchy. Alright, we'll send Lapis back, because I don't care if she dies. Kill this Sigurd. Yeah, do this. Thank you. I won't let this go to my head. It's an inefficient way to reposition your king. Oh, he missed 275 <laughs> and levels up. Damn. Luna! Yes. Fantastic. Except he missed 275, so. A little disappointed in him. That's uh, a little problem. Here, get mended. Yes. 
What is this guy? Leaf? Alright, let's do a poke. You'd almost always prefer to castle. Yeah. I don't like castling. I know you're supposed to do it. <laughs> I prefer being aggressive and leaving kings in the center. Being kind of crazy. I don't think you should do that, though. I wouldn't recommend anyone does that. That's what I like to do, though. Uh, how is he getting to me? I go, like, all the way over here. What about in here? Really? What about in here? Do you want to avoid... He counterattacks. Hey, we don't just we don't have the <laughs> uh, we don't have the thing yet. Yeah, if we don't dodge, we die. So that's a problem. What about if I shoot? Can he heal? Yes. Shoot from here. Okay, that's better. What is castling? Oh, it's when the. The king and rook trade places. It's like a mechanic in chess. The king and rook trade places. I think I really can't get in there, huh? I can do like a kind of situation, really. Oh, she doesn't have a heal. Was he gonna master lance him? He's an armor though. But it hits twice. 91 hit. Uh, where's Obstruct? I'm hoping this works. If not, then we're in trouble. Slaylene is in trouble. Really, Anne is in trouble. All right, let's try it. Wasn't gone. Oh, you're not gone. Come on, survive. All right. What's he gonna do? Oh God damn it! Oh, of course. I just wanted to get the stupid thing so I could bookmark. Damn it. I have to go in like two minutes. Oh, now she does it. But then I can't pulse back. I should have moved up to the other side faster. Chloe wasn't able to convert. I think she missed twice on the one guy. All right, I got it. The Slaylene is never in trouble. <laughs> I like cutscenes. Stop interrupting gameplay. <laughs> All right, time crystal. Yeah, we can't do that. All right, that's unfortunate. I have to restart. I retry. Very, very unfortunate. Just barely died. I pushed the tomahawk early. I didn't have to do that. At all. I actually didn't have to do that at all. I should have just waited for a thing. You have more than enough time to push it. <laughs> and a bad unit. She died by 2 HP too. Alright, so let's, let's save it here. I obviously can beat this. I just made a positional mistake. Which is fine. Alright, thanks for checking this out everyone. 